we are trying to find the right bandwidth here. Unacceptable bandwidth. That's not straining everything. My apartment internet's going wild right now. The worst timing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that looks all right. Metal Gear. So you guys got to tell me if the feed gets crappy. Um, right, because it's entirely possible that it will. Um, that's me talking. Metal Gear. Um, mostly because... I think everyone's in my apartment right now. They're probably all watching Netflix or something silly. So who knows? Um, just checking some settings one more time before we um, before we start. And then I think we're gonna go. This seems pretty stable. Y'all just gotta tell me if it gets a little crummy. But I think we're going to start. Um, all right, let me ch let me turn down the volume in my headphones because holy crap, that's way too loud. You get to see me go through all the uh, the magical moments. So yeah, we're oh god, don't go back to a cutscene right now. Uh, so we're gonna play Metal Gear Solid. We played through the original Metal Gear. I want to say like six or five months ago. It was a while ago. Because I wanted to play through the whole series. I'm skipping Metal Gear Two for now. And just because I can. Am I playing on the PSX? I'm actually playing on my PlayStation 3. I have my PlayStation 2 here, but I don't, um, I don't have my, I think I don't have, or maybe those are the, maybe the discs are right there in that case. I have, um, I have the original discs somewhere either in my apartment or back, um, in storage. So we're going to do that. Uh, so we're going to start normal. So my goal here, so I want to maybe turn all this footage eventually into something a little bit more uh, edited and not just stream of consciousness, but I want to play this game. And I'm going to talk about it. Don't expect superior play. It's been a long time since I've played this one. Um, and even then, the only one I've ever gotten a foxhound, or excuse me, a big boss rank, is, uh, is in... Um, uh, Guns of the Patriots. And that took a long time. Um, There's a lot of practice. Um, Twin Snakes, I have that case somewhere around here. Um, but I wanted to play this, obviously, because this is... I do think this is better than Twin Snakes. Twin Snakes, for those of you who aren't aware, is the remake that's on the GameCube made by Silicon Knights. Um, I think eventually I'll play through thing. James Flinders. Oh, that's right. So this is the version where they have to use fake names to get around union contracts and stuff. Except for Dave Hader. Everybody else is using a, a, a fake name. That's Cam Clark's fake name. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Listen to, like, expected. vaguely I'm young Dave Hader. ...to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. So I kind of love okay. the way that they actually refer to buttons on your face controllers and stuff. It's really good. Um, grab a couple rations while we're down here. No swimming in this game. I'm actually playing on my PlayStation 3 right now. Uh, just because I can't be bothered to find my discs, and, and I already had this here. So that's good. Um, so this is intrusion view is what they call it. And... For the expense of being able to see a little bit better, 
you get to hide under things, or, or like kind of see straight forward. You get to hide underneath things. Oh, that's right, the puddle. Um, so now we have this, which is good. I don't know the depths of this guy's field of vision, so I'm probably going to screw up a couple times just getting used to um, controller stuff again and like some of the rules here, because the rules are slightly different uh, here in terms of enemy behavior and uh, sort of placement and how their uh, field of vision works. Will it get complicated to get through Psycho, Psycho Mantis on Metal Gear in the... I can't even talk right now. Um, hey Heather, you should focus. Uh, to get through Psycho Mantis? I don't think so. So I can change controllers just from my setup here, and then I, um, I'm able to, oh, fuck me. I'm also able to, if I, like, for some reason, if that didn't work, I could always, um, oh, it's not there yet. I could always just shoot the statues, which is the other way to do it. There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You just shoot the four statues around the corner of the room, and you don't actually need to change your controller setups at all, which is really nice. Um, and then rations, SIGs, scope, which is good. Um, can't move your camera around in this position, which is a little arcane to have that fixed position. Can't shoot from here, either. Um, boy, God, do I love this, though, huh? And then you get the third soldier comes down, and it's just like... Just feels like this big slap to the face. Of just like, oh, fuck. Like, how am I going to do this? And the answer is, you just go behind them. <laughs> and they're never like, what's on that elevator? Uh, which is pretty good. I like that opening segment because one of the things I like about Metal Gear Stealth is that it's basically like a like a geometry puzzle, at least in the earlier uh, in the earlier games, where it's less about um, sort of factors like lighting or camouflage. But what happens is it's actually more about just kind of fitting snake into the right position at the right time it feels a bit more like a puzzle it feels almost like um tactical tetris which i think is fun uh what difficulty is this be being played on um it's just being played on normal just default um not hard because it's just been too long since i've played this i'll probably botch the approach into shadow moses truth be told because um, I want to go to the upper floor, and I always have, for whatever reason, I have trouble with that camera near the stairs, because I'm a dummy. I also need to get the SOCOM by the truck. Here's one thing that I'll complain about, and it's a weird complaint, because it's actually a complaint about Metal Gear Solid Five. is, look at all the good use of cuts here camera wise cuts and like pans and like these weird fades and stuff to give this moment of just like heading to a box like a ton of dynamism it's snake I'm and disposal facility excellent, excellent snake age hasn't slowed you down one bit snake's like i'm fucking like 30 I can dry but it's a little hard to move um it's designed to prevent hypothermia this is alaska you know. i guess what i'm saying is i like how Early in Metal Gear, cutscenes use cuts and like actual techniques instead of the weird, like one take, push in stuff that he does or Kojima wants in his cutscenes for Metal Gear Solid V. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F 16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. The hardest thing to do in this game actually is not the lack of a crouch walk, it's just the fact that like. A single button press on your D-pad carries him. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship? Russian gunship doing here? Love that line. Because no I'm an idiot. Um, like 
version got there. It's the fact that actually Snake, it's it's actually kind of neat because it implies a little bit more behavior on Snake's part, the same way that like a skid from Mario implies action and sort of agency, which I'm always a fan of. Uh, my colleague Tim Rogers says that um, a video game characters should never fully uh, accept our controls, um, and I kind of agree. Um, but the big thing with Snake is like, if you press the D-pad even a little, he like, he takes big steps. You don't have a lot of fine motion here, so sneaking can feel a little strange. The big thing in this game ends up being finding paths through space. You've got to hurry. In a weird way, it makes me think of, um... Who's that? It makes me think of, uh... I haven't introduced you. Sounds so funny to say about Tony Hawk. I'm just finding lines through space. It's really good. Data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either. I didn't expect you to be so cute. Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting hit on. No, I'm serious. By the famous solid well, snake. I'll be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we What happens at the end of this game? Each other. Fox. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the die. Religion. But first, is what happens. Let me explain about your Soliton radar system. So I like these these things here. The red dots are your so if we're talking about characters not respecting our inputs or stuff, one thing I like about this cutscene, honestly, is that it stresses Snake's control over himself. I don't know, it's hard to say. Because he's gonna like, I think he presses against boxes, or at least that happens in other ones. And I like cutscenes because there are these really weird spaces where video game characters sort of break free from... If he's alive. I don't want to say our tyranny, but I'm going to. Our tyranny and our control of us just like imposing stuff on them. Which is really interesting. It's like they get to act as their own characters, as opposed to just like actors that we control. Currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance. Meryl's fate. Will be changes depending on what I do by codec anytime you want. during a point near the middle of the game I'm feeling lonely where I get tortured spoilers I'm also where they're like contact me and it's awesome because ocelot goes like and don't even think about using rapid fire because I'll know frequency for saving data and if you do if you have like a rapid fire controller like it just like speeds it up and kills you um it's some really good stuff yourself with whatever weapons you can find I remember first I'm strip searched by dr he also does like oh it's been a while since you've saved your game position well if you make it back in one piece maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me everybody fawns over solid snake sorry to disappoint you but I and I gotta be honest he's kind of a sleaze how did you do that in my stomach thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids cigarettes how are those going to help you you never know so I love this opening yeah see he like he moves by his own accord right there and it's really cool if you want to get in I'm eventually gonna write some sort of script and probably I want to do a long ass video way but there's too much risk here um, there's a critic I love knock on the door and ask them to let me in and uh, like like his work is so good his name is James Howell I consider him a friend I, I got to edit his last piece which was great he did a wonderful essay on Metal Gear Solid 2 which is basically like the defining essay for that game and he did a playthrough of his big boss rank run of Metal Gear Solid 2 with some really good commentary. And I kind of want to do something similar and get that on our YouTube page, which is really good. Um, so I want to go to the duct on the second floor because that's actually better. Um, the better approach, I think. How long does it sit to take and beat this? I don't know. Uh, there's like five hours of cutscenes or something, four hours, maybe three. It's a little less. Uh, that's a good transition there, by the way. Um, 
and so I think it'll probably take me like eight to ten hours which all things considered ain't too bad um, yeah the, so the scope ends up being the way that you want to do first person stuff for scouting here and it's really awkward because the controllers are inverted or the controls are inverted pardon me Whew. god that's always terrifying doing that so because your uh, your view is so limited in this version of the game particularly, it actually becomes really important to press your back against the wall, which is something that the fact that you have sort of a free camera and other stuff in later games of the series, um, it sort of de-emphasizes that sort of action, um, which I've always considered a little disappointing um, because it's a it kind of robs the game of a certain degree of pacing. Um, so this sounds stupid, but this camera gives me, come on, surveillance camera. Uh, this camera gives me a lot of trouble whenever I play this game, but there are blind spots underneath cameras that you can largely get by by kind of doing like a this type of thing. That guard up top needs to move. Oh, dude, come on. Move. Oh, Christ, that's always terrifying. So he needs to... Oh, okay. So actually, I could have gotten to the vent there. Actually, I'm just gonna go. Man. Young me would have loved the fact that I can get through that easily. The first time I ever played any of this was a PlayStation magazine demo disc. And boy, gosh, that was great. Is this when I get the call? I think this is when I get the call from Master Miller. Snake, it's been a long time. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I'm it's cause. For some peace. Yeah, I'm playing on the PS3 this time. Just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, <laughs> I know lots about hungry for words. No, hungry for words. If you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here, my frequency is 141.80. I do appreciate how they keep these, um, everything together. Like, the reuse of certain formal elements throughout the series actually allows the series to comment on itself in interesting ways, and that includes the way that it uses, um, codec frequencies. That said, I also sometimes struggle with my my feelings that I think some of Kojima's reuse of familiar elements comes off as lazy. There's a lot of this game that is just, um, it's basically just Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 again. Like the electrified floor is a thing that comes up again. There's the holes in the ground. You get the sense that he never was pleased and I'm projecting a lot, and I hate doing that with uh, creators. But you get the sense that there's this feeling that, like, man, it never took off the way I wanted to on the MSX. Like, I just, I'm just gonna do the same shit. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. At least in Metal Gear 2, it becomes woman in the cell? something useful. Yeah, look at that. Like, even when he's just in the vent, like, there's, a, there's like the camera pushes in, and that's good, as opposed to. Everything that happens in the cutscenes of Metal Gear Solid 5 is a disaster. I like Metal Gear Solid 5 probably more than I should, um, but that stuff's a disaster. Uh, so there's the camera in there. I think that's where I find the SOCOM suppressor. It is in here, but I might not have the card for it yet. Then again, if I have to bust out my pistol this early in the game, I'm probably doing something wrong. Johnny Sasaki? Uh, is this just a box? 
No, it's a ration. Some dude's storing all of his delicious food up here for me. I can only carry two right now. Uh, Metal Gear Solid does this thing where you actually get a bigger health bar and more rations as you keep going. How do I get down again? <laughs> Wait. Um, there we go. It's circle. I always forget that circle is the interact button in this game. Um, I have some thoughts about the way that you get a, an ever-increasing health bar and sort of what it means and what it's doing, but it's also kind of awkward. So this always feels like a little bit like I'm in a tough spot. Uh, but it's so funny, like, it's kind of an interesting tutorializing moment because it gives me chaff grenades, like, right there. Um, mess around with them. Yeah, I don't have the cards yet, which is... What's in here? Colonel, what's inside here? Uh, let's find out. The game uh, gave me chaff for a reason. Thermal. Oh shit, yeah, I want those. The thermal goggles are really there? Man, I don't remember that at all. That's fucking bonkers. Um... Yeah, right, so that's what I'm thinking too, is like confidence and experience equals more health a little bit, right? Um, as the player get, uh, gets more comfortable with their situation, um, it starts as like an overlap between them and Snake. Where Snake's increasing competence and skill as he returns back into the field is then rewarded with um, essentially resources for the player. Which I think is a decent way to do things, but it's uh, kind of flawed in certain ways at the same time. Um, so I gotta get to the elevator is what I need to do. One of my favorite things about elevators in Metal Gear though is if you hit the interact button multiple times, uh, the elevator shows up faster, which I always think is really cool. Uh, if this guy goes too far, I'm gonna get fucking owned, which would suck, because right now combat is just like... fuck distically untenable. Is it B1? Basically, we're just trying to get to... Um, Is it here first? Do we talk with Meryl first? Look at the radar. It's picking up the Darpa chief. Oh no, it's the Darpa chief, and then it's uh, and then it's the arm Armstead president. I just forget the order. He's like Metal Gear. You knew? Look at the radar. It's picking up the Darpa chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Can I save the game? Thank you, Mer. Thank you. Yeah, this is a really good soundtrack. I like Metal Gear Solid 2's uh, soundtrack too, though. That's a that's a Harry Gregson Williams joint, and it's pretty good. Um, yeah, we just go through the vent here, right? Snake, if you, if you want to climb a ladder, I like how they call it the action button instead of circle or whatever. One thing I don't like about the vent stuff here is that if you do the thing where you go back and forth through the vent so many times, it's like, oh, you get to see Meryl in her panties. And I know that, like, I I know some people are probably rolling their eyes at me getting a bit annoyed at that, but we'll probably talk about Meryl. I like Meryl a ton, but it's also, um, throughout these games, there's a really bad habit of kind of like, not quite screwing over women. In certain cases, yes, screwing over women. But um, just kind of treating them not great. Which is annoying. Crab battle. You guys are cl uh, quoting all the classics. Yeah, it was the 90s in Japan. Yeah, I get it for sure. I'm not entirely removing it from its context. But I mean, it persists throughout the series is my thing. 
to the point where Meryl's big reward at the end of the series is to get married, which is weird. Oh, look at somebody married, mentions he marries the best guy, yeah. Suddenly competent Johnny Sasaki. Akiba. Um... Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. I like how they go like to drop down. They really first person view mode. Guide you around. Wait, what is what is the button for first person view mode then? It's not my goggles. Wait, what? Cause this should be Meryl's place? Yeah, that's Meryl right there. Square? Triangle move? Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. Is that a woman? I forgot all about that. Is that a woman? Huh. Wow, that's so funny. Triangle, uh, triangle move. I mean, like, this game came out, like, before the, like, Dual Shock was, like, a really big thing. So, I get it. It's me, Snake. I'm here to save you. Oh, you're talking about Olga. Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? Just gonna watch the cutscene, kind of. true. You don't look like one of them. In that case... Hurry up and get me out of here. That's a weird line read, and I think what they're trying to refer to is like information. You don't look like a the terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a soul like one of the genome soldiers? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuclear weapon. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place That's a good camera movement there. Warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. I like having um well don't tell people in our chat to leave. Don't be like that. We're all friends here. Um I like the fact that digital space makes it easier to do like weird stuff with the camera. Which is why um Which is why I'm I'm really into this is one of the reasons I talk about like cuts and pans and stuff and the ways that Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid 5 kind of does it. You knew? You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How'd you know that? How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Behave, people in chat. Be nice to each other. I heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. On the contrary. A huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We found some anime nerd who didn't ask questions. And then proceed to mass production. One of the things I actually appreciate um, about Metal Gear Rex's design. For the revolution. It's a. Uh, um, it's actually really simple. Into the hands of terrorists. I like the way that it emphasizes the nuke more than anything instead of like the robot. The code name for As the series has prototype. kind of moved forward, it kind of lost a lot of the commentary about nukes. Like the thing that makes Rex scary is not the fact that it's a giant robo dinosaur monster, even though that does make it scary. Hey, shut, shut up, up in there, will ya? Uh, the thing that makes it scary is the fact that it can launch a nuke that nobody can find and then just blow up whatever. In a lot of ways, I think that the Metal Gear... So I always think that the Metal Gear designs tend to say something about the respective games that they're in. Some kind of detonation. Which is why I think that Metal Gear Solid 2... I like Ray because the point of Metal Gear Solid 2, arguably as a game, is to eviscerate and destroy everything that came before and deconstruct Metal Gear Solid. And so the Metal Gear of that game is an anti-Metal Gear, which is really cool. 
president of arms in this game it's about creating something that's a functional leak like link between like new technology and old technology which kind of feels like a whole thing about the playstation there's like a lot of weird abstract stuff you can pull from there but i like the way that it also just stresses like hey this is like a game about nukes because um, even the shagahod in um metal gear solid 3 doesn't quite feel like this fully this is um like this fully realized thing. It's just like we needed a robot. Peace, yeah, Peace Walker gets back into it because Peace Walker does like the 60s setting. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. That said, having a, having a Metal Gear that doesn't do Metal Gear stuff is interesting. So one of the reasons that... So at the end of Metal Gear Rising, a game that I love and I literally wrote a book on that you can find on iTunes, um, a Metal Gear shows up because it just has to, because it's a Metal Gear game. Um, and it becomes this kind of really self-reflexive satire thing that I like. Where are the keys? Baker should have them. Again. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. Good camera stuff here. Okay. Like, look at what you can do just like those quick cuts. Armstead, president. Cut to Merrill. Cut to Snake. It's good. Yeah, R Rising is the Raiden game. It's fantastic. It's really good. In fact... area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? I like how they spell that out for you. In fact, because I'm a self-promoting uh, little bitch... It'll open any There's the link if you want to read my book on iTunes. It's called a pan card. It a pan card. There's pan and pal. Uh, you can also buy it off lulu.com and get it in a PDF or uh, ebook version so you can read it on your Kindle or whatever. Um, I just do iTunes because that tends to be the one that people have. You talk about games like they're movies. Blowing your mind. Thanks, Justin. Okay. Whoa. Wait a minute. What is it? I know, right? It's so so complicated to have treat games seriously. To disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? This is your first clue that this guy's not completely on the level. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? He's like, do you not know another way? No. So to disarm the missile, and <laughs> and you're just like, and now he's grilling you about the demands, and you're like, hmm. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon. All right, so this is really good. Um. So, Fox Die. Fun stuff. But also, this was the first time we ever had... Not like ever had haptics, what happened? but we had haptics that were responding a lot more to stuff that happens on screen. So right now, my controller's pulsing like a heartbeat. And at the time, we hadn't really done that. Not very often. Um, and I'm into it. One thing I do like about the Metal Gear series broadly is that it likes to draw attention to like stuff that's extra text by which i mean stuff outside the text so like your controller and your your cd case and your console and stuff are you hiding something from me absolutely not it kind of wants to make the act of playing a game more about just what's happening on screen or like in the digital space and that's always really nice you want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. Jim Hausman, here is your support. who shows up uh, very randomly at the end. He's like, hello, I'm Jim Hausman, Secretary of Defense. This is actually interesting because the body, I can't walk over it. In later games, that would probably be something I can walk over. Right. Um, the cutscene's different here if you don't have the the gun. So we have our first, what I consider our first boss fight, coming up in a second, which is um, essentially a boss fight against a group of soldiers, which is something that the series does a ton of. They do it in Metal Gear Solid 1 with the Ultra Box fight. They do it 
in MGS2 with the um, the Gerlukovich fight in the uh, in the tanker. They do it in three with the Ocelot unit. They do it in four with the frogs. They do it over and over, and you get to see this idea sort of develop throughout the thing. No. Uh, the the thing the series. Don't move. Yeah, that's what I said for Metal Gear with the Ultra Box fight. A person. Your hands. Which we played. I just actually I forgot to save the VOD, unfortunately. So it's you, you can't watch it anymore. Careful. I'm no rookie. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. And all the bad guys show up. Not one of them, are you? Huh. The square button for shooting here is an interesting car, thing. Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Oh, I accidentally shot Meryl. I'm terrible. Or did I? Wow, my camera is, uh... I forgot how hard it is to actually shoot here. Did I shoot Meryl? What are you waiting for? That's terrible. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I don't have flashbangs right now. I'm telling you, shoot! And then she does it. That sucks. Um... One thing I think is super cool is... Tactical reload, which can you do it in this in this version? I don't know if you can. That's a Metal Gear Solid 2 thing for sure, though, is the fact that you can do tack reload, which is fantastic. I don't need to do it here because actually the reload here is um pretty good. Oh, I can. Ow. Really? Actually, you can, but I don't have ammo. I see it now. It's funny because it's the L it's the R1 button. I can use my fist here, but I just like shooting. Like, I might as well. This is another weird thing where they're like, look at her butt. Then we also see Psychomantis the first time. Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. The thing about the butt thing here, and it's a, it is a bit annoying to me, and I'm not going to focus too much on, on that stuff necessarily, although it'll come up from time to time, is that this is also, in like, the way that I was talking about how we have these soldier fighting moments that recur throughout the series, this is actually, that's uh, when we actually have to find Meryl. It's basically the precursor to, like, the Rykov scene in Metal Gear Solid 3. Scenes where you're trying to find someone. And to a certain extent, it... We, so the nice thing about this is, so I won't talk too much about Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2 because we got to play this game, but Metal Gear Solid 2 is this kind of inversion and deconstruction of Metal Gear Solid 1. So in Metal Gear Solid 2, instead of us searching for someone in disguise, we get to be the person in disguise as Raiden when we get the BDUs. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. It's really simple stuff, but it plays into the themes of that game. So that was Mantis. You guys are talking about um, Twin Snakes a bit? I like Twin Snakes. I don't like it as a game, but I mean, people um, rag on like those Ryuhei Kitamura cutscenes, and I think they're actually kind of interesting. I can't go through there yet. I keep on thinking it's triangle, but actually in the earlier games it's circle. Uh, so B2, we're going to have to get the C4, and then we'll get the Ocelot fight. Ocelot fight. Yeah, M MGS2 had, like, people had problems with it at the time, which is so silly to me. Uh, so my big thing here is I don't remember where all the trap floors are, so you're going to see me, hu like, hugging the wall as much as I can. 
Just like a ton. Um, this isn't the room with the wires, yeah. That will happen though. So this is just the C4 room right here. Um, well, I, a lot of people have problems with Metal Gear Solid 2 because of Raiden. And I actually wrote a piece on our site where I think Raiden is the best thing to happen in the goddamn series. Um, because I don't think the series was able to properly comment on itself once Snake became like this like really big icon. Which is fine. I like Solid Snake, but also the problem with Solid Snake is that like this entire game, or at least part of what this game is about, is about how shitty it would actually be to be an action hero. And like that message almost gets completely lost uh, by the time the fandom of this game really gets a hold of it. Um, like this entire game is about getting jerked around and lied to and manipulated and drugged and tortured all because you're the guy who has to like be John McClane. Um, Right? And yeah, John McClane gets the shit end of the stick too, because he has to get like his feet all bloodied and stuff. But once you, if you want to make a game that comments on itself, which Metal Gear Solid 2, I think, very intentionally did, um, you can't do that once everybody thinks that your main character is like this invincible uh, god. It just doesn't happen. Um, so instead, what you do is you take somebody who's flawed and actually a little bit more human this time around, and like you go for it, which is good. How do I detonate? I think it's just the punch button, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, and then I might die to Ocelot. Who knows? How is Mike Fahey doing? He's doing better. Um, he was messaging us during E3. He's still recovering. Um, but he's typing, he's talking, he's, uh, he's doing great. Um, we're getting there, right? Which I'm really happy. Uh, we miss, we miss Mike very much. Um. Where's the wall here? Oh, it's there. And then... through here. Well, the problem with the Twin Snakes is that it's just taking Metal Gear Solid 2's core mechanics and slapping them onto Metal Gear Solid. And the problem with that is the mechanics and the verbs that- oh, fucking hell! How? The mechanics and the verbs that you can do in that game aren't built around the level design of Metal Gear Solid 1, right? Um, so it's cool to be able to play that, and I like Twin Snakes in a lot of ways, but it's also maybe not the best thing in retrospect. I forgot about this area entirely. What's over here? Another ration? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of people have that observation with uh, Twin Snakes, but like, it really comes out when you play it. Um, it's like super apparent. Just the ability to actually like properly aim and shoot in first person and get headshots and all these other things completely breaks Shadow Moses apart um, in a way that you, it's kind of hard to deal with. So you can see the Armstead president can in this version. Can you see Ocelot hiding in the corner? No. Just what I'd expect with a man with the same code name as the boss. Um, I can't. My revolver Ocelot impression isn't really good. Um. <laughs> Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. We're making good progress through this game, though. Am I too late? And then we're going to have to get to building number two, which means crossing the snowfield, which I think means fighting the tank. It's funny because the tank's pretty early. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? <sighs> this boss fight is weird. Um, and here's another case where you know, we were talking about just like two seconds ago, level design not being updated or changed to account for the actual increased verb set that you have. And that's really apparent when you do this boss fight in Twin Snakes. 
because you can just stay in one place and aim at Ocelot. Well, here, you can't really do that. One that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. Patrick Lane. I love the fake names. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Draw! They go straight into the boss fight pretty quick. Ever made. The, the Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Is it the revolver? So the shit thing about this boss fight is that you're mostly just chasing. I make them go what I want. Why do I have the card key? I need the rations. So I love to reload the feeling of battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming along. Wow, how can I Oh, oh, it's because he's talking. I was like, why is that happening? Um, so one thing I do like about this boss fight is that it emphasizes movement in a way that doesn't really happen too much. Um, the, the revamped version... <laughs> I didn't mean to say that as a pun. The revamped version that we have in... Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 is actually the, the boss fight against Vamp where instead of fighting somebody with a gun, we fight somebody with knives. Uh, which is a little bit of an inversion, but it's also a similar space where you can't go into the center of the room. Uh, in that case, it's because of the water. Uh, in this case, it's because if we go close to the... Uh... But to you, be the smell of your own. If we go into the center here, we blow up. Um... We blow up the bombs, which is not good. You'll notice that I am relying on rations here. I'm not trying to do like a really technical playthrough or anything. Um, fire at me? Shoot me. Ow, I ran into it. Dude, come on. There we go. I mean, I know how to do the boss fight, but I'm also impatient. Oh, yeah. He's at a weird angle. That's fine. He only needs like two shots, three more shots, so that's okay. You just do this run back and forth thing. This reminds me, actually, going back and forth like that is the um, fortune fight. Ow. Oh, I need bullets. Why am I bad? I'm doing this because I'm terrified. For the record. Ow. What if I lose this fight? That'd be embarrassing. Wait a minute. Yeah, he's gonna need like two more shots. I like doing this and just like the back and forth. I just gotta shoot him one more time. You can't uh, run and shoot in this version. Unfortunately. 
You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. Unless, if you can run and shoot in this version, I don't remember it. I feel like that was a, a fix for um, Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, that was a clumsy boss fight, but that's fine. Like I said, this isn't about superior play, it's just me doing all this. Can you? I don't remember. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. I don't know if that was that close. I wasn't too worried. If I was worried, I'd be panicking. I have no name. That, that is, is it X and Square? I forget the uh oh yeah i'm not gonna stop and uh mess around when i'm going up that tower with all the soldiers if i can run and shoot i'll just like bust up my famas and uh can you talk just shoot folks Who are you? i like when he talks about material unaccounted for here because he goes muff and sings like muff what about yours oh i get it jim sent you you're, you're from the pentagon answer my question what about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants. Like that line read. Brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> I guess I just don't, like, for whatever reason, I, I guess it's true, because it is a little clumsy, but, like, I, tell you I didn't remember being able to do that sort of, um, what happened to your arm? kind of smoothed out easier movement in this version of the game but it's also been like i want to say like three years or so since i've actually played through this so, Chief, is he okay? Dead. What? so you know i can't be you know that's not what you promised jim now you want to shut me up oh. calm down what's wrong with you i just told you i was here to save you uh, i didn't kill the darpa chief he had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally... If it's card two, isn't it in the tank storage? But what do they read? On the second floor? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I, heard I, I mean, that should be where it is, right? Second floor. What? Who does then? Of the tank. No. Room. Kind of up and to the right. A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier. It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. Oh, it's a level one card. Perfect. She refused to take part in the rebellion. So I can go back and get that. Could that be the colonel's niece? Colonel. I gave her the key. Ah, huh, Colonel, huh? Though, I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she <laughs> He says that after the fight, but beforehand he's like, fucking rookie. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I don't remember. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. So stupid. Let me tell you, it's... It's on the back of the CD case. Sorry, I forgot. Damn! 140.15. Oh, that's right? right. It should be on the back of the CD. Should be right. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Oh, speaking of which, I should call Nastasha. You need to find Natasha? One of my employees. I always pronounce it wrong. Who's that? 
the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. The game's really bad. Like, the game never tells you that she's around, and they introduce everybody else but her, so she's basically... No, 141.96 is Meryl. You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Or no, not Meryl. That's, that's Mei Ling. Shouldn't it be? That's the save frequency, or is it 1.1? I don't know, we'll find out in like two seconds. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. I think I'm right. I think it's 140.15. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. So this is all like pontificating sort of stuff, but it's useful, right? Plutonium is increasing even today. Eventually, the series gets like a little bit more up its own ass, and it doesn't really talk about this stuff. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Oh, you might have been telling me that that's Natasha's or whatever. Close the lid, try to pretend like it'll go away. Who knows? I'll find out. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff. Love it. Muff. It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no- With nowhere to turn! I like that line, read too. I'm okay with this sort of filibuster, though. Plenty of available nuclear material and scientists- It's not perfect, but it flows better than some. In an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. But also, like, this feels natural, right? It's like, a, it's a Japanese game and- Still maintain its- Understandably, nukes are a very Japanese anxiety. They're anxiety for everybody, but like- to maintain you know. our own policy of deterrence. A shaking head a equals talking? Yes. Power. It's kind of like a Star Fox type deal. Somebody's quoting Metal Gear Solid 2. Yes. You know our industry suffered. I hear it's amazing when the purple stuffed worm and flap jaw space with the tuning fork. A lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. How do I like Snatcher? It's okay. It's, uh... I actually think it's a little overrated. Um, but it's okay. I don't know. Some people act like it is, like, the definitive sort of, like, cyberpunk adventure game, and I don't think that's true. It's fine. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to sit down and write some sort of scripted thing for this playthrough. This is what you came for, right? But you can hear to my, um... An optical disc. You can hear my uh, dumb, mush-mouthed ramblings. This is the only for now, which I think some of them are okay. Data. Some of them are just me being like, er. Don't play dumb. Police knock is better than Snatcher, somebody says, in their opinion. Maybe. I don't know. They don't know this I mean, Snatcher's fine. Me saying it's like just not the end all be all cyberpunk game is like, you know. boss, I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without For now, that's de that's Deus Ex. They don't want anything else from Which is also pulp trash like this. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was I've never played Boktai, truth be told. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. Pulp Trash is fine, yeah. Better than I. I mean, I posted it earlier. The only book I've wrote is on, like, the pulpiest trash of the entire series. Which is, like, cyber ninjas and, like, cutting robots in half and all kinds of shit. But also, another pulpy game that's that's about robots and really good is Binary Domain. And, to an extent, Nier. Uh, Nier Automata. Um, all of those are kind of pulpy and trashy in certain ways, but also really good and have some smart things to say, so. So, they actually went in, did it. What are you talking about? They, they are just using you for... I like the change of color here. 
stuff that we don't end up seeing. Um, the series kind of stops using, even after this. What the um, hell? This game is very much chasing after cinema in a lot of its presentation. Just like really going for it, of like, look what we can do. Um, no idea. It's a little self-indulgent, but considering the time frame that it's uh, released in and everything is like, you know, I'm okay with it. I think. Damn, Snake. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Thanks for the vote of confidence in yourself, Colonel. There's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do birth I could basically recite this or a lot of pieces of this and then also Metal Gear Solid 2 basically from, from memory. What the hell was that ninja thing? Oh, did I say memory or Naomi right there? No. I might have said from Naomi. Yes, we have nothing like that in our unit. Is that right? Might have had one of those weird slip of the tongues. I might have to uh, step away quickly. Um, level two card. No, I want it. I want it. Damn it. Are one of the? Is this a bad wall? Are there other bad walls in here? No, I don't think there are. Are there? I don't remember. Uh, we opened this. There's a level six door and a. Level 4 door. Are there more? I just don't remember. You'll note that I have a decent memory of this game, but still some, uh, some flawed remembrances as well. Paul Eiding, yeah. Just the voice of Hojo in uh, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII, a game that I want to play on this stream if I can. Um, oh, that's right, they bring the guards back. Grenades. I forget where everything is. That should be so calm ammo, right? This is a level two door. This is the FAMAS, but it... That's right. So this should be fine, right? I was like, I know there's doors here where I'm gonna need to... Grab this stuff. Next to the elevator. Yeah. Tactical Espionage Tetris. Were you here when I mentioned that earlier? About how I think this is basically one giant geometry puzzle game? Because that is how I feel. Largely. Um, and I'm down with it. Oh, we have to come back here. We, well, I mean, we come back here a ton. This game like makes you backtrack all the time. Um, which is good. Backtracking in games is like... Good shit. Um... I love backtracking in games. I mean, I could use the SIGs, right? But I'm, I'm not gonna. Let's go the long way around. The game is just, this game is just entirely Lines in space, the game. It loosens up a ton once you get a grasp for, like, Snake's movement. But also, look, like, that's a single button press. And they do this thing where they're like, Snake, if you want to stalk and, like, not... They want you to do this if you don't want to trigger the sounds on floors. So they want you to do, the, do this nonsense. But if you press too hard, you see how he just, like, got away from it again. So silly. Um, yeah, there's a fake wall there. I'm gonna upset the guards if I do this, though, eh? So I gotta find... I gotta find my safe space to do it in. 
That's a bad joke, I'm sorry. I shouldn't joke about that sort of shit. Snapping necks in this game is easy because you just kind of hit. Hit, um. Boom, boom, boom. Square a ton. You just snap necks. Uh, impractical in many ways. But still pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm 100% a fan of this nonsense. You gonna turn around? Which way do you go? You just go back this way. Cool. Oh, whoa. Thanks. Thanks, video game. It doesn't matter in this game, but if you press the button multiple times, kind of like I said before, you can get where you want to go. Is it B1? Is the tank one, right? I mean, you can play the mini-map a little bit, but also, like, oh no, B1's where we found Meryl. Um, and I think that is a flaw of the game, and it's good that the that's starting with Metal Gear Solid 2, you can just disable that, but, you know. I think, given lim the limitations of sort of what's happening with the tech in this game, I'm okay with there being so much emphasis on the radar. Um, generally. Generally speaking. Um... So I need this to move. Because I need to go get the SOCOM suppressor. Well, I don't need to. It's not as important in this game. And then I need to call Meryl. Um, level 2 card? No. Oh, fuck me. I forgot about you. Don't do it. Oh, that's so funny how limited it is there. I thought I would knock them out easily by then. I kind of forgot that it's instant, huh? I should have uh, been more aware of that. <laughs> I could have, I could have grabbed him, huh? Just kick him over. <laughs> Do they come forever? I forget. They might. There's a camera in here, isn't there? Oh no, it's the camera outside that we need to worry about. This is the mine detector. Where's the SOCOM suppressor? I forget, where does it go? The lower level, God, I'm a moron, huh? The mine detector is kind of useful. It's not that useful, but it's, you know, kind of useful. <laughs> I'm a dumb dummy um i mean there's gonna be slip-ups to grab them is square right i forget the controls of this fucking series yeah i mean i have the thermal detectors is it in this version can i still crawl over them to uh what Video game. For real? What? Jesus. <laughs> He'll never see me. <laughs> um... 
He'll probably hear me coming though. Yeah, well, I thought I was I thought I was flat against the wall. That's silly. Um, it's not terrible, it's just silly. I can live with that. I can just toss him. I forgot that that's an option too. Yeah, you can't really sneak on grates in this game, unfortunately. Actually, does my card key open that door? Let's find out. I forget. It might. Hey. Thanks, video game. Cardboard box, chaff grenades. Giving me all the goodies right now. They'll never find me. Can't do the sneaking stuff here. Well, you can a little bit. Yeah. Just seeing what I have for items right now. I gotta switch to the card anyway. Oh, you would hide underneath the door, I'm guessing, and then you would shoot. Um. God damn it, really? That's annoying. Just do that. Why am I so bad at sneaking in this room suddenly? Inside of a box. Huh. Snake, what are you doing inside of that box? Integral does have first person aiming, that's right. Oh, when they do the, uh, yeah, when he's like, try stalking, Snake. Walk, uh, kind of slow. That's not what he says. Um, it's funny. It's like funny shit. I don't know this guy's patrol pattern. It's kind of annoying. He falls asleep, doesn't he? Or is the other guy near me asleep? What are you doing? Just break his neck. That's a weird boss patrol. Or not boss patrol, guard patrol. Um, actually, we can just call Meryl from here, huh? Get out of here. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? Snake? The colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. She thinks I'm liquid. But just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the I can't believe I botched the, the movement through that room so bad. You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go, we go back away. My name's not important. Snake? Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Oh, she doesn't warn me about the lasers, does she? Before, I wasn't sure if you were one and then if you trip them, she's like, oh, I forgot. I think. Right? Is that how it goes? Eyes. My eyes. They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes. eyes right. No, they're soft, they're beautiful, 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 compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the <laughs> legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once. The reality, you guys. The reality is no match for the legend. No match for the legend. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? 
Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terror. Oh, am I, am I thinking about Metal Gear Awesome? <laughs> I might be. I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. I'm getting my wires all crossed boy, today. Oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They we needed... We needed a giant Vulcan holding dude and a psychic to be present for our nuke test. Because they're good at keeping things hush-hush. That's what I heard anyway. The most fucked up thing about this game, by the way, is at the beginning when uh, Colonel Campbell is going through everybody's stuff. And he's like... Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise, Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Then he gets the Vulcan Raven, and he's not like, he's good with tanks, or or like he has a big old gun. He goes, uh, Giant and Shaman. What? Which is not great. Same as the DARPA chief. It's kind of awkward. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I PSX know. shouldn't be a bad word in here. Even coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. I don't know why Twitch is uh, why Twitch would do that. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is Alone? Probably. Are you in a talkie too? Research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. Wait, I need to... Right. I'm gonna have to backtrack anyway because I'm gonna need to get the Nikita. How to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? Uh huh. It won't be the first time. It's funny the way that they, uh... What's the best way to get... They really get mileage of what is basically like a really small map. of this building that leads to the north. By making you just like the door there. Uh, twirl back and forth. Okay. I've got a level five card. Well, um, go of like doctor. back and go. forward, kind of I'm recursive. You. No way, you're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. After I do the Every boss fight, I'm life, going to step away very briefly day, I could to use the restroom to grab a cup of water. So what now? We're going to be here for a while. I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> and then later on in Metal Gear Solid V, I'm already a demon. Which I get it, it's You're different, but you know. From the combat high, the adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. No, I think it was planned to do a lot of the backtracking. I learned all about Combat High at the Academy. Because, e like, you have to switch to second disc to get to more space, right? You can't hold as much on a PSX disc. Think about that other stuff. So, and like the disc, the only stuff that you need. Stay the hell out of my way. Um, for uh, for the second disc, it's like the smelting room, and then it's like. Huh? I told you. The Vulcan Raven fight, and then a couple other things. <laughs> it looks like you were right. I'll be a girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. 
gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo... It's after the, um... Yeah, it's, it's all the voice stuff for sure. But it's a little bit of everything. Oh, I called you again. Don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. But it's also like, because you have all that voice stuff, you can't... ...have like just a single disc full of so much geometry either, right? So you have to have the do disc. And because of that, you actually have this situation where the second disc is like... There ain't a lot there. Meryl, I'm at the door. Open the fucking thing. Am I gonna play Metal Gear Solid 2 after this? At some point, yeah. That game I know much better than this game. Um, I'll probably play that one on like hard mode. Not extreme, it's been way too long for me to play on extreme. I'll probably die a lot in the Ray fight. It's, uh, I'm not great at that fight. Snake, I Maybe the Harrier too. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. But it's right after the, the, uh, the sniper wolf fight. It's like, what are we fighting for, Snake? And then he's like, also, insert disc too. The way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead. I like, I was like, gas. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. It's a consequence of translating the Japanese, where it's much more acceptable to just kind of repeat yourself in conversation. It's not really a thing we do um, in the West. We're not like, somebody's like, oh, I'm going to get fries. And you're like, you can just be like, oh, fries. But like, if you did that here, you'd be like, fries? People would be like, yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> you doofus. You moron. Um, okay. Oh, boy, man. Depth perception here. God, I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, it's so hard to tell. I'm going to die. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I just crawl under all of them or do they go all the way down? I mean, I'm going to die. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. What a weird camera situation. Look at this. Whoa. That's hysterical. No, I know it's the lines on the floor. I'm not a, I'm not a freaking moron. But it's also just like the way that it looks like the pattern. I don't know. My eye is just like <laughs> thing that I didn't play Metal Gear 2. Um, I was kind of super eager to play this. No, I know for sure that this is. Oh, God, it's so annoying. Well, actually, first off, let's do this. Thank you, game. Then if you want to, you can do. This is actually the easier version of, uh, cause the, uh, the thermal stuff is like so hard to read, I think, or for me it is. I could have just ran right there. The way the thermal goggles do it, it's like not good. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, thank you door, please open. I just wasted some health before a boss fight, but it's not that big of a deal. I will use the thermals here to check um, for the claymores. I'm going to get a call. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines there. Or is that later? I think it's when I go back. Or maybe it's right now. Call me Deep Throat. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. 
I looked forward in first person mode. He's like, there's a tank there. And I'm like, I think I would see that. Um, I can crawl over these in this version too to um, pick them up, right? Or is that not a, uh, a thing in this version? I don't remember. Let's find out. No, we're fine. Nice. Wonderful Claymore mines. No, because the same voice actor is in Metal Gear Solid uh, Twin Snakes. He just plays the DARPA chief only, and they recast Gray Fox. Right, again. I think I would see the... I think I would see the tank. There's no... There's not a tank here. Oh, and then you go, it opens up, because it's behind the door. No, he's talking about the, he's talking about the, uh, the voice actor for, um, for Gray Fox. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. In the, uh, in Twin Snakes, he does a backflip here, and it's rad. Well, he kind of does that, too, which is also rad. But he does, like, a proper, like, just, like, freak-out backflip. And it's freaking dope. Those cutscenes are ridiculous, but I kind of... I'm kind of into it. You crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight! I was like, there's rations or something here, huh? Good. Is there more stuff back here? I forget. Anyway, grenades. Whoa! It really hits me that quick? That's annoying. It's been a while since I've done this. Yeah, I gotta throw chaff, huh? I forgot all about that part. Ow! Do I have my own stream channel? I do have my own stream channel. I just don't... I only use it for, like, super casual stuff. So I played Jurassic Park on there recently. My grenade throwing skills, not great. Ow! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Grenades, please work. Stop fucking with me. I'm gonna die here. Wow, how. I forgot how awkward a boss fight this was. Whoa! It's like super awkward, huh? It's way more awkward than I remember. This is hysterical. In retrospect, it's it's a much clumsier boss fight than I kind of want it to be, right? That should do it. Ow. Yeah, I might die here. That should get him? Yeah. I might die, but probably not. I can just chain it, huh? See how you like this. Uh, no. My grenade didn't work there? That's hysterical. No, I mean, I know that it boosts the arc of the grenade. So I might die here. That's fine. I think I only need one more, though. So yeah, I think I'm fine. <laughs> you can definitely tell I'm a little clumsy. I might do a second playthrough for when I want to do commentary, like scripted commentary. That's my personal Twitch, by the way. The last thing I played there well, was... I hope you are happy. 
got the card. Couple things. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I. Yeah, I just don't remember some of the strange, like, mechanical stuff here. So it's yes. been a while since I've played. Even on my head. Thirst for his blood. Thirst for his blood. So we'll have to go through the building here. But I am going to pause very briefly to get a sip of water. I'll be back in like two seconds. Hello. No, I didn't need to look at the uh, at the back of the box for Meryl's frequency because I remember it. Here's an idle thought, because I'm an idiot right now. Could I have just thrown chaff in the thermal corridor? I would hope so. No, because I have the level three card. I'm actually gonna go back and get the uh, the Nikita. You can't throw chaff in the corridor? That's silly. Phew. Sorry, friends, I sneezed. I, it feels like something you should be able to do. Right? I mean, I could try it. I just got, like, a ton of chaff. Let's find out. Together. Um, my guess is maybe not? No, I'm talking about this right here. If not, we just go backwards... Kind of awkwardly. Let's find out. No, that's like a... A thing. Because we're not in the right game yet. Oh man, this is tricky because I can't really see much of the... Um... Oh no! I looked at chat. I'll die here. It's fine. <laughs> I have no problem with it. We're kind of playing like a sloppier playthrough, kind of a casual playthrough. God, it's 
classic stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna try test like. Does running through them while the chaff is going off not trigger the alarm? It sh I mean, it definitely fucking should. Snake, you're almost dead. What happened? Uh, smoking. Look at how cautious I am here. I'm so scared. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Does that guy have anything here now to guard? It doesn't look like it. I was always kind of curious if, like, they replace it with anything. Because that would be a very gamey thing to do. How fast can this game be beaten? I don't know, like an hour and a half? Two hours? Probably even faster. Yeah, what is the any percent uh, thing for this? Let's find out. About an hour. By the looks of it. I just... Oh, that's... How very dastardly of you, game. Watch. Look at how you fall there. <laughs> Snake, are you okay? Snake? <laughs> I was like, let's go over that and show you just kind of how they do the funny camera angle for a second. I always thought that those traps were kind of funny. Um... They're, uh, they're very much like a holdover from, from the, uh, from the MSX stuff. Where you can just kind of do whatever you want. Is there more thermal stuff here? Let's find out. No, that's, that was for the FAMAS. They're very, um, they're like very old school. And you only get slight variations of them with, um, some of the stuff in Metal Gear Solid 2 when you're going over certain platforms and they fall. So it's still there, but it's not quite the same. Um, Comparable, right? It still has some of those formal elements, but they're mixed up just a tad. But you have to have them because this game has them and that game's kind of doing like this whole recursive like Let's put Raiden through the same thing to like comment on the thing Yeah, no, it's this it's tact tactical reloads that Oh, I keep on hitting B1 out of habit Metal Gear 2 has some stuff. Metal Gear 1 has, like, straight up hardcore mean. Like, really mean. Um, sudden pitfalls. It's, like, one of my least favorite things about that game, actually, in retrospect, is just, like, kind of how cruel that whole stuff is. This is actually, like, look at, that's, like, a really nice camera angle, and they barely use it. Um, it's like there for two seconds. It's a really good camera angle. It's so funny that SIGs are the superior thing here. I mean, I get it. I guess... I don't know. If I wanted to, I could read into that. Man, it sucks because I'm going to have to go through... these areas a lot and your control over snake's body is just like sometimes it's so limited 
Um, let's actually chomp this ration before we head into the storage uh, facility. Yeah, because what you're talking about is, yeah, so you're right, I can run and shoot. Uh, for whatever reason, I kind of thought that was like a Metal Gear 2-ism. And it is definitely not. Let's pick up this other Claymore. Just so I don't forget. That's a very... Like, it's all Metal Gear Solid 1 stuff. There's an entire thing in Metal... In, um, in the first Metal Gear where I'm running up towards where I know there's a... T I think it's a tank. It's like missiles firing. And I'm like, hey, this reminds me of the Vulcan Raven area. Um, and that's because it basically is. Um, and... I'm vaguely okay with that. But also I think sometimes it's like, man, you have remade the same game at least three times and only one time did you actually turn it into any sort of commentary. So whatever. I'm actually gonna look up um, Romanenko's codec for a second. Actually forget it. Um, Although, actually, I think I probably could check it here. Right? Go through all this stuff. Whoa. Let's just check. Look at how many fucking nonsense pages this thing has. Yeah, so there it is. It's actually right there. So I don't need to look it up on, like, the, the internet or something. One for zero point uh, one five. That's awesome that you can do that. Or one. I said out loud, I said Meryl's frequency. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with. They yourself. never mention her. You're the nuclear specialist at the Colonel. Outside of the um You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. Outside of the freaking I think maybe they mentioned her in the in the briefing stuff that you can watch before. They ask me to participate. But otherwise she's just in the manual and that's it. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. What is happening with Mubot? Anyway, it's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here. Why did somebody get timed out there? I have no clue what happened. I'll have to look into that. Well, I mean, the entire in the briefing books, one of the briefing books in Metal Gear Solid Two is in the Darkness of Shadow Moses, which is one, which is a book that she wrote. Um. Can I shoot anybody down here, or are they all on the second floor? Maybe I can shoot you. No, I can't shoot while, um... Doing that, can I? That's so funny. All the, like, small limitations. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed... That's so interesting. ...that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking You'd be able to do it if you had the sniper rifle, though, huh? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Yes, so Snake. Careless. So I'm going to be playing this until, like, way late tonight. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I Oh, so they do mention Nastasha. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their but also, mechanisms removed. There's no context for that for that mention. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Yeah, I'm going to play this until I finish it. Use your weapon on that floor. And then I'll probably do a cleaner playthrough of my own to just 
get that done. Somebody wants me to call the colonel. What have you got there? A cardboard box? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mentioned that earlier, the briefing that's stuff. Snake, I remember. But that's entirely optional. No what hit him. Huh? Mr. Box. I want to choke this guy. I just got to get to the second floor, so it's not that bad. There's a guard up there, though, eh? What's that on the bottom? No, yeah, the box is really useful here. Can you stop? Can you leave me alone? Muck oh, I should have choked him right there. Son of a bitch. I might need to go to B2, huh? Otacon's floor should be at the bottom. Yeah, this is just all. I mean, if I'm down here, I might as well. Let's see what I can grab. Level 4 card. Level nothing card. I might not have any. 4, 3. Oh, there's a level 3 card there, which is good. Whoa! What are you? No, Meryl goes into the bathroom when you see- when she sees you. And then she's like, oh! She runs. Oh, another guard comes from the bathroom. That's interesting. I forgot about that. Just shoot this fucker. Actually, I don't have to. I don't have to, do I? What's this guy up to? He's having fun? Nice, no, over there. I feel like there's a camera somewhere. Oh, Nikita missiles, perfect. Thanks, video game. Well, that's how you know which one she is. And then you, you have her see you, and then you go to the bathroom. But next up, we're going to fight um, Gray Fox. We're going to see the, the quarter cutscene, which is a great cutscene. Actually, one of the cutscenes that I think might be better in Twin Snakes. I like that you can do this, by the way. That's always fun. Snake, be careful. The floor is electrified. Snake, be careful. I like doing it though. I might just run into it to try it. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. Thanks. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's a little it's random. On the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Remember this from Metal Gear Solid, or excuse me, from Metal Gear the First and from Metal Gear 2? Snake's just like that. Huh. Mei Ling, 
How can someone outside of this operation cut into my codec? You're talking about that guy calling himself Deep Throat. We were monitoring from here. What about it? Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. Can you tell me where he called from? I'm sorry. The Where's the Master Miller love? Okay, Master Miller love comes in near the end of the game. Somewhere on the base. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. I can't really do the voice. All my Metal Gear impersonations are bad. Um, unfortunately. Oh, that was really close. That was stupidly close. Uh, oh, what? I hit the camera. That's stupid. Or the, uh, the computer. <laughs> that sucks. So I want this missile to go pretty fast, but... Did that not hit it? Really? Oh, that's so silly. Yeah, I can go first person on it. That's true. Whoa! Video game. That's so funny. Well, mostly I just wanted to go really fast and then head here. That's right, I forgot that it's actually back here, isn't it? <laughs> you know why I did that? Because I'm so used to like R1 and all that stuff being the first person instead of like useful shit. Is there... no. So I guess we just go. I might die to Grey Fox, who knows? All my boss fights have been super sloppy. Um, where's the gas mask? I believe it's in here. Might be here. Yeah, there we go. This is the dumb thing, too, though, uh, that this game does, which... The, uh, which Metal Gear does as well. Is, um... You have to take off the mask to open the door, which meant that you took damage. Um, in this version, or in, like, pretty much any version of the game. Gray Fox should be chaffable, which is a weird phrase, but um, might be wrong. Oh, this is a good one. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Maybe a sword. Huh. It's a ghost. The Twin Snakes version of this is killer, but this is also really good. In, uh, in Twin Snakes, he chops a dude in half, and it's actually pretty rad. And then I don't really need my gun. No, Mantis is going to be our next boss fight. Because we're going to meet Meryl... Then we're gonna have to fight Psychomantis. Um, 
And then after Meryl, we do a we do a fight with Sniper Wolf, Wolf uh, pretty quick. I said Sniper Wolf. You'll notice that all of my smart commentary has gone away for a minute. Who are you? Quote unquote smart. What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. You're that ninja. Waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! <sighs> he can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off. I need that man. And thus the world's greatest romance was born. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. I'm gonna beat you up, dude. <laughs> I can do this pretty easy. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Oh, dude, come on. Usually that. Really? Can't hit you there? I have to wait for him to stop. Ow! Don't hit me, dude. Eventually, does he do the thing where he hides, or is that a, uh... For some reason, I felt that that was like a, uh, a uh, Twin Snakes truism or something. So I'm gonna grab this ration over here. You'll notice I'm running straight to it. Um, because sure, why not? I like the damage that can happen here. Ow. So funny. Oh, sometimes you miss... Uh, you miss your punches and it feels really awkward. Wow, he hits harder than I remember. That's so funny, it's like a really dramatic attack, but it ends up being super easy to uh, stop. Oh, see, like, every now and then, I mess up my uh, punches. Ow! <laughs> now he should do it, huh? That's good steak. Hurt me more! Oh, I wonder where he is. Thanks for telling me, game. Uh, but also, I, I can just, if I wanted, right? I'm here, you can also hear him. He should be over this way. Yeah, he's over here. My dude. Dude, stop running. Hurry up and catch Why you gotta be like that? 
There we go. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. It's funny that the thermal persists into uh, the cutscene here. Can this work in this version? Let's find out. Oh, it can. Thanks, video game. Oh, he's still. Oh, it's funny that it doesn't let me actually do the attack there. Oh, because he has to do his like voice lines and stuff. He's like, more snake. This is actually one of the easier uh, attacks that he does to dodge. He can only do it once. That's kind of interesting. You just gotta not stay in one place and then you can hit him here. I remember this fight a little bit more. Even though I was taking damage, it's like whatever. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle. Let me run around like a dope. A bone and sinew. My gray fox voice isn't that great. I should do it after one or two more exchanges. No, yeah, he's going to do the weird thing at the end. I want to stay away from him. Otacon, I'm here to save you. Oh, ow. He kept running. Do I have to just keep on moving? I just gotta, I gotta shoot him. Ow. Oh wow, the range on that is massive. That's hysterical. Do I have to do the boss fight over? That's kind of cruel. Maybe I do. If so, it's an easy boss fight. So I don't mind it. The range of that is really big. Oh, I do. Look at that. That's hysterical. That's actually an interesting little trick that the game uh, pulls on you. I don't mind it. And I, I, uh, I think I will end up doing my own personal playthrough to kind of, um, now that I'm more familiar with the game again. And I'll probably do, I kind of want to do like a version that'll have um, some analysis, right? Like that's something I'm doing here, but it's also a little not quite the same here. This is all really casual, me finding my, uh, my footing again. I want to sit down and think about the script. A couple other things, talk about the game. But I think it could be really good. Would you guys be interested in something like that? When was the last time I played it? Like, maybe three years ago. Dude, stay still. If I did, like, maybe not including all the cutscenes, right? Maybe I would uh, include, like, key ones, but I'd, like, I wouldn't be like, here's my commentary over the entire cutscene, because I wouldn't want to do, like, a five-hour video on our YouTube. But maybe, maybe I could cut it down to, like, uh, one or two hours or something, huh? Of just, like, let's talk about this room. Let's talk about uh, what's going on with all this stuff. Could be really good. Ow. I'm gonna go get the, uh, the ration, I guess. I guess I'm gonna... Ow. Did not mean to do that. Talk about a game with some awkward movement controls sometime. And I'm down with that. Like, awkward movement controls is always fun, but... Uh, it's a little imperfect. So we're getting to the hide-and-seek again. The posters, one of them should be a police knots poster. I think, right? Where'd he go? I'm here, 
He should be over here. Further up. Where? Oh, he's over there. Oh, he killed me there. That's wild. What's wrong? Snake. Huh. Snake! That's hysterical. So I guess I should just blaze through it. Oh, like I said, keeping it casual today, so I don't mind. That's wild that he actually does that much damage there. So I just gotta be like way more aggressive than I was. Now make me feel it. Make me like these boss fights aren't hard, but I think it's just that your um your movement and stuff is a little limited in ways that are interesting. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised by how much damage that kick did. Ah, dude! Bonking me in the head there. Come at me? Come at me, bro? Oh, wow. Now I'm getting beat up again. Oh, you hit me there. Yeah, like, look at how much that tracks. That's actually kind of wild to me that it does that much. throw him. No, he killed me because I had my thermals on. As long as I have my ration equipped, he shouldn't he shouldn't hurt me. That's why I have my ration equipped right now. Watch, there, I just consumed it. But it does a lot of he does a lot of damage, which is actually um way more than I thought. I don't need to heal if I have my ration equipped. Hurry up and catch me. Maybe I die here again. Who knows? But that's that's the mechanic of rations. So that you don't need to worry about that. Uh, where's he gonna go? Down? I'm no, this corner. Where's he gonna go? Up, probably? No, the corner here. Dude, get back here. Hurry up and catch me. I lost him. Oh, Jesus Christ, he does so much damage. Dude, I'm in the same troublesome position again. He's gonna chase me. Oh, he's up there. Yeah, he does, he goes so far, that's so fucked up. It's not even that hard. But it's just like, you don't run as fast as I thought you did. So let's just be really aggressive. Snake! It's a little limiting. It's not too bad. You guys are probably shaking your head, but also like, eh, you know. It doesn't really bother me. I don't think I need that many rations. If I just have the one and I'm not a complete chump, then it's fine. Right? Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. 
Yeah, I should be able to use square a little bit more, huh? This is a good fight, though. So I don't mind it, necessarily. Dude, stop it. Get back here. <laughs> yeah, I could chat from near the end, huh? That'd be good. Dude, stay still. Yeah, the trick, I guess the trick is just like, be way more proactive than I have been. We might be going to hide and seek anyway. I think I'm losing viewers by dying though. Heartbreaking. He might chase me here. Chase me? Oh, I can't break it, but this motherfucker can. I'm here. And he's down here. Down this way. Do, do, do. He's up here. Ow. It hurts. It hurts. Hurry up and catch me. Down in the corner, I think, though. Down here? Yeah, there we go. And now we just gotta not get beat the fuck up. VR missions? No. And I have to go back and do Metal Gear 2 at some point, but I was... I was filled with an overwhelming desire to play this game. So, VR missions is fine. I like um, Metal Gear Solid Substance quite a bit. Those VR missions can actually be pretty fun. Some of them are bad. First person mode missions never quite work the way I think they're expected to. That's it. I remember that punch. What's my favorite PS1 N64 game? That's, I don't know. I'd have to think it over. Suicoden 2? No, I can't say that. I'm not Jason. Um, it's up there, though. What is my favorite? Front Mission, or Front Mission 3 specifically, I really like. Um, Final Fantasy, of course. Ow. Ah, it hurts so much. How do I stop it? Annoying armored core, good games. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Gray Fox. Me? Colonel. That ninja is Gray Fox. What? Not a 
Symphony of the Night. It's a good game. My secret favorite is Circle of the Moon. Uh, Seven I really enjoyed, but the first time that I played Seven was actually vicariously. My friend would play it at, uh, we went over his house. I like Nine uh, quite a bit. Nine's actually my favorite um, of those three. But I do think Final Fantasy VII is a top-notch game as well. I think it's really good, guys. Is it over? No, he tweaks out right here. <laughs> then it's all cutscenes. Colonel. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. Then he says, you yourself in Zanzibar. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. I don't know if what? Tenchu... Like, Tenchu's okay, but I wouldn't... I joined I'm not as into it. Staff. They were using a... Tactics is really good. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. I don't know. I, I do like Metal Gear Solid. Although, as you can tell, I'm a bit rusty. Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for I'm just watching subject, this. They decided to use Relaxing. Oh, we're talking about... Now we're getting into... And that was Gray Fox. Um, but he was already dead. Now some of you guys are talking about PlayStation 2 stuff. Devil May Cry is one of my favorites. Devil May Cry 3, yeah. It's very good. I actually have that. Today's right here on my shelf. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. The definitive they used edition as well. Sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Chrono Trigger doesn't really count as a PlayStation Naomi, One game, though, does it? What happened to Gray Fox after that? <laughs> no, I mean that's a that's a I SNES game. He died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? Favorite PS2 game? There's a lot, and some of my favorite PS2 games are like really bizarre stuff, like Front mi uh, not excuse me, Front Mission. Not <laughs> sure. Another thing with Giant Robots, though, is Ring of Red. I like Ring of Red quite a bit. Jumping back to Sui Koden, Sui Koden 3 is actually my favorite in the entire series. So, you know, good stuff. Chrono Cross, another good game. Gets a... That game gets a bad rap, I think. How long? You and now we get Otacon. Huh? Are you an otaku too? You one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay. So I'm gonna watch this cutscene. I'm actually gonna tweet out that we're still playing. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. 
all the armor. Hello, I am back. A separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly. I was writing a tweet. Oh no, it's a, it's a. Yeah. Not, it's I not meant to do anything bad. Directs with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. A rail gun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed defensive for the purposes system only, system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. No. Sure you're not forgetting something. It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? He's like, don't play dumb with me, motherfucker. He doesn't, he doesn't say that. People don't swear a lot in Metal, Metal Gear. Yeah, but that's not all, I think. They say, like, Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles. Damn it, and stuff, but they're. All the practical data they need. Does anybody ever say fuck in Metal Gear? Metal Gear, a world where no one says fuck. Metal Gear's co developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of. I'm just enjoying the cutscene for a minute. Some downtime. Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. My interesting commentary. I like my commentary, but that boss fight was a little bit of a gauntlet. You can test everything in a virtual environment, but it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. Metal Gear Rising does. I love Metal Gear Rising. So good. If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> He's like, I've always been used, damn it! Damn! I do like... I'm such a fool. The voice actor here. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father... Like he pours himself into it, which, God bless him. He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. Hiroshima. <laughs> sense of humor, all right. This is when they finally start getting into the thematic stuff. Of, like, your genes designating, like, your fate. He says it right there, written into our DNA. Um, all that nonsense. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. They lean into the music stuff here a little bit more, which is nice. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. He's like, no, you can't, because you're, like, shuffling around. You'll need me if you're going to destroy Rex. I don't need you. This is the only game that had great voice acting on the PlayStation 1? Hmm. It's my right. I'd have to think about that, but I don't think that's true. It's gotta be a couple. Also, it depends on your definition of good or great. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. Because I think, well, you say that there's less music tracks than, like, compared to Twin Snakes or whatever. I think they just use some of this stuff a little bit more effectively. Siphon Filter. A game where everybody was, like, trying to make it compete with. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. 
but you know. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look I like how the music is just in the background. Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Meryl! If I have the level 4 card, I might go back early and get the the PSG one. What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. I should be able to get the PSG one, huh? A disguise. Or do I get that after I... do I get the card for it after I kill Mantis? You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Pretty sure I just remember which one she is. I think when you go to B1, she's in the lower left hand of the room. Place where we could be sure she's by herself. Might be wrong. Where's that? Yeah, Man oh yeah, Mantis probably does give me the card, huh? Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Whoa. I like the tease here. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? You okay, buddy? Oh, I'm getting all friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> like how Otacon has nothing of it, okay. no part of it. Strange. It's like, what? Leave me alone. Someone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. I love that it's called Japanimation there. Country to successfully make <laughs> Japanimation. It's Afghanistan animation, Captain. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. So funny. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy who says shenanigans. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Hey, Farva. Has always thrived on war. <laughs> Greatest weapon What's that place you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? But that's all over now. You guys talking about shenanigans? Anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything oh. about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, his shenanigans are evil. Evil shenanigans. Armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Stealth camo. So cool. See you later. I swear to God, I'll have like smart stuff to say instead of just quoting super troopers during our playthrough. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that health bar now. It's gorgeous. Burned through my FAMAS ammo, but you don't really need it during the um, the Mantis fight necessarily. It's not that bad. I was like, I don't think you can go in there. But if you could, just imagine. Zoe. Zoe 2 is a really good game. I just say Zoe because I don't want to say Zone of the Enders. I do like that game, though. It's, uh, it's kind of stupid. But can be really fun at the same time. Yeah, I hate how they do that thing where you're going to take damage. I mean, like, here's my thing about this. Ah, damn it, I'm a dummy. Here's my thing about... So, like, I'm somebody who will go to bat for Kojima games in, to a certain extent, but also, like... I always caution people of... of oh, yeah, because that's where I got the gas mask. Of treating him like he's way smarter than he is, because he thinks he's very smart, and he is occasionally smart. Um, I think we should be honest about that. <laughs> uh, sometimes he's just very indulgent and aggrandizing. Which, whatever. To some extent, maybe he's earned it, but not to the extent that people think that he does. That he's earned it. 
Uh, that's my Kojima spiel. I like these games. I like Metal Gear Solid. I like Zone the Enders too, quite a bit. But, uh, you know. As time has gone on, I've seen the edges, or like the, the kind of where the seams tear a little bit. Um, I think he's somebody who had a really good grasp on how to use like games and like their interactive qualities. But I also think he, sometimes people could afford to tell him like no and just like stop stuff. I'm gonna choke this guy. <laughs> Come on. Um, and like, not to belabor the point too much, because I know everybody cringes when talking about like Ko Kojima and women dialogue a little bit, but like, you can see it in the way that he just like, he cannot write a woman character. Um, he's just bad at it, right? Uh, Meryl should be over here, huh? Right? Right? Which one are you? Which one are you? I think it's this one. Eh? Yeah, she makes the noise. Hey! Bump! Then we go here. Don't move. This is Heather playing. It is the Mantis background music. Um, we're about to fight Psycho Mantis very quickly. That's the second time I've been able to sneak. Yeah, we got here quick, so she's probably in her underwear, huh? See, again. It's like a secret, right? Like, oh, you got there fast enough, so you got to see some digital underwear. It's like, come on. Men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. I also think this scene sort of starts the turn of where Snake doesn't... Like, he wasn't taking her extremely seriously anyway, but I think the game starts to de-emphasize Meryl in certain ways here. Um, leading up to the... Um, are you hurt? Leading up to the Mantis fight and then a little bit after, right? She's a more active participant in maybe like the first third of the game. And now that we're getting into the um, the rest of the game, she's going to get, like, she gets a tough run of it, right? And there's something to probably be said about it where she's going to get mind control by Mantis. You're going to get, she's going to get shot by Sniper Wolf and then captured for the majority of the game. None of that gene um, therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. And I'm okay with it. Like, I'm 100%... All the heroes um, I know are either dead. I'm 100% okay with a character who has to navigate her femininity and then also, like, trying to be a soldier in a realm full of, like, bullshit men. That's cool. And Meryl does that to a certain extent. She's like, she's like, you know, I wanted to be tough, but also, like... I think Meryl's a very relatable character. But I also think that the things that happen to her, the way that game, the game kind of treats her, like, camera-wise and stuff, can be unfortunate. It doesn't quite line up with what the text wants to say, which is a problem of Kojima works a lot. Um, and it's not just with women, but it's with a lot of folks. Where the game wants to say one thing, but the gameplay kind of says a little bit different things. Um, How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like. Like that in Metal Gear Solid 2, it works out a little bit better. Oh, I see. Because because like the the way that they denigrate Raiden is meant that it's supposed to be something that like reflects upon the player. Right. The reason that Raiden has to put up with so much shit is because Raiden is a stand-in for the player, and the player like there's just like no love for the, the player in Metal Gear Solid 2, which is fine. That's a good position to take, I think, and it was necessary following the reception to this game. Um, but like that's something with more of a point, and some of the stuff that happens with Meryl is like it's just the consequence of like not really being thought out. Um, people orbit and circle around Snake's periphery, right? Um, and they don't really contribute necessarily as much Otacon does a little bit this is all I've got. Where could the other two be? um I have no idea but they must be somewhere. and there's probably something to be said for that isolation to destroy metal like you have your codex support team but you have a lot of folks who don't I don't know I would have to think about the way that snake engages with characters like proximity wise because I always think it's important when characters are like close to each other or touching each other or in, or in the same space shoot me tends to be important, uh, is my general analysis of that stuff. So to have him removed from a lot of folks, it's to make him feel helpless, to make the player feel helpless, but it also like emphasizes his solitude and isolation, but also it comes at the expense of giving other characters kind of, um, I've always despised that kind of woman. Sort of their own moments. I dreamed of becoming a soldier, but I was wrong. 
There's also some weird internalized misogyny stuff going on here with Meryl. My father. I was like, I never liked makeup, and it's like, yo, makeup's cool. Makeup's great, but you can also fire a gun. You can do both. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. <sighs> no heroes or heroes. It's not a training <laughs> exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Is that FAMAS functional? Yeah, you say everybody in uh, the series is real, or the game is real open about their feelings. Well, the game's mostly like a, a melodrama. There was a so this is a this is a weird moment. This is, kind of speaks to what I'm talking about when he's like, "Do you want to swap guns?" For a girl. It's weird. I can handle it. It's like a weird thing. Use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Again, though. This juxtaposition of, I like guns more than I like having my breast properly supported? Like, I don't know. It's a weird moment. I don't think it's sexist, necessarily, but, like, or, like, the moment itself would be, because it's just, like, normal people talking to an extent. But, like, in aggregate with the rest of Kojima's work, it gets a little weird. He must have been guarding someplace important. Which isn't me, like, slagging on the game too much, because I like this game. I'm playing it right now. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'd have to think through my thoughts on this moment and this scene a little bit more. That's strange. We don't have to go too far to get to one of the super good boss fights of the game. Can I get rations in here? I want like a ration if I can get one. This is all Nikita. Like, but I want ammo and stuff too, so let's grab this. Uh Diazepam. Night vision goggles. Whoa. A lot of good stuff here. Oh, it's good I checked this out. Are there rations in here or anything? That'd be nice. The Mantis fight is kind of an awkward fight. All things considered. Uh, are there any in here? What are you doing? Let's oh, they can't let me. Um, I would want to say that it's like a kind of cultural or, or timeline or like a of its time thing to uh, Tech Amazon, but I think it's repeated enough in the series that it's a little bit of a problem um again just something to comment upon not something that makes me go like <clears throat> curse you forever just something to think about then the music starts up and then we get mantis so oh, it hurts. you like to play castlevania don't come here snake are you okay? <gasps> yeah, this is the part where all the extra textual stuff actually really gets nice and rich. So how does this work on the PS3 version? I have two options. I can swap my controller, okay. or I can... I mean, I can shoot the statues, too. Oh, you like sweet coden! Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Then I just gotta knock her out. Did I take some damage before? My health bar is looking funny. Huh. It's, it's definitely been a while since I've played this game. 
was about three years I was telling folks. So I had a little bit of trouble remembering controls and stuff. Just have to punch her until she knocks out. It is interesting to have a villain who like really tries to manipulate manipulate you, um, which I'm into. I hate that. It's such a crappy thing, though. Did she get knocked out? Or am I just messing with her? There we go. He goes, oh! Useless woman. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You. You doubt my power. He's gonna be like, you're very reckless. You don't save your game too often. I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. This voice actor really goes for it. That's right. This is no trick. It's true. I can he's gonna do the controller. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now let me read your mind. No. Perhaps I should say your past. Do I have any other save file stuff on here? You are a very methodical man. No, I'm very cautious. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Maybe I have a Sui Code in 2 save on here. Maybe not. I used to play that on emulator more often than not. Your memory there we go. Yeah, these are not the real voice actors' names, except for Dave Hader, because they were all unionized at that point. Hmm. He was somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? His accent goes all over the place. It's like, you still don't believe me? And he's not really Russian. Maybe he is. I don't know. Maybe you can hear it vibrating in my hand. Or actually, I'll put it on my desk for a second. Maybe you can hear it. By the power of my will alone. What do you can you hear it? Can you feel my power? I don't know if you could. The demonstration is over. I don't know what that pose was. That was like a very JoJo's pose. Oh, I love when this happens. Yeah, my gain is is pretty well adjusted, so it probably didn't do it. Um, so changing your controller in this version of the game is weird. Controller settings, reassign the controller, controller two. Ow! You fucker! <laughs> you little you little piece of shit. Um, so I should be able to do damage now. Once you know the gimmick, it's actually a really easy fight. How? The statues, I forgot about that. more health than I remember. This is another boss fight that they that gets um
somewhat screwed up by the existence of um, first-person cameras. Ow! Oh, I should equip my ration. How'd that get taken off? Very sneaky, Psychomantis. The other option, by the way, is to attack the, um... The statues. I wonder if I'm still gonna take... I mean, I could die here, who knows. If you position it the right way, you can actually hit both of them, by the way. I might die here. You are powerful indeed, but I know your weak point. Do you? Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop, Meryl! <laughs> This is nice, though, because I got him in the corner, so I can do a little bit more extra damage. So that's nice. I might mess up the boss fight. Who knows? What? No. Where'd he go? This is another case where this is really useful. Because you can mostly just do this now? Oh, the statues! Ow! There we go, we got him. Yeah, when you get to the bottom of the clip and you have like the three or four tracer rounds, good stuff. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten. Mantis yeah, that's a much easier boss fight. I don't know. Well, I, I, I don't know. Yes. I'm stumbling over my words. Way to save her. I wasn't really great with the uh with the gray fox fight for whatever reason. I see any woman die right in front of me. Oh really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Hey, shut up, Naomi. It's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, I used the other... See, he knows. I used the other control port. Able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. His own. Pushing against the theme of genes and fate? Solid Snake telling him that you make your own future, something that Naomi will stress to him at the end of the game. Not quite foreshadowing, or not quite, uh... But they're all kind of playing with the same themes. Am I playing this on the PS1? No, I'm actually playing this on my PS3 right now. So we're gonna have Sniper Wolf, we're going to have the torture scene... We're going to have a couple other things. Oh man, imagine if I mess up the torture scene. There's no continues here, friend. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. Am I going to resist the torture? I want to. Sick. Yeah. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. 
We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... I wonder what time we'll finish tonight. You are different. I've not eaten, uh... Us. Today. We have no past, no future. I probably Do should. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but fate. Happiness. All that stuff. Slow play, like seven to nine hours. That makes sense. I figured I, fi I figure I'll finish somewhere around eight to ten range. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me and his Fight Vulcan Raven, drop down claymores, and have him do all the work for us. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to... The village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. Not quite. <laughs> I killed my dad. With a... Truly the same. Zippo and some aerosol. The world is a more interesting place with... I like when he's like, you're, you're just as bad as the boss. And you're like, never a kind of, but you know. This revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? Yes. A large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. That's up to player one. A last request. What My mask. It? My mask. Put it back on. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I would say we're maybe at the vague halfway point. I always think the halfway point is like when you get captured. You have to use the ketchup. Well, you don't have to use the ketchup. You can use a lot of different things. This is the first time I've ever used my power. The dialogue change here in Twin Snakes is weird. He says nostalgic. But here he just says it feels nice. 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 Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. Jeez, Snake. You're right. Look at Snake's, like, 28-pack you on his fucking chest. You're right. I'm sorry. He had great Parmesan on that shit. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name. The name means nothing on the battlefield. How old it's are David. His name's David. Spoiler alert. You only find out in the Otacon ending, though. Because they're like, Hal and Dave, huh? 
Oh, it's just like 2001 A Space Art. Whoa. And they laugh. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant GG. Other people just complicate my life. Man, tell me about it. Other people just complicate my life. Come on. Let's go. Do you, does he mention it in the Meryl ending? I don't remember it at all. Oh, I have the thermal on. Um. Oh, God. Video game. I like how, for one moment, they're like, hey, you can use controller port too. And then you, ch you, uh, you're like, hey, can I keep it that way? They're like, nah, dog. <laughs> Put that shit back in the right, uh, the right port. Is there any ammo I can pick up here? Thanks. Thanks, video game. Yeah, here you need to... Otherwise, you have to shoot the, uh... The statues. I wonder if you can still damage them here. If you can't change controller ports, you just have to shoot those. And now she shows you the path through... Um... Through the mines, she's like, "Oh, Psychomantis showed me." Wolf dogs, half wolf, half husky. I know, cause I he has like twenty huskies or something. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Yeah, there's no pacifist run, unfortunately. Star items here. You just ran away. You know what the secret to this is? gotta get him to pee on your box <laughs> that sounded terrible give me a second they do that then you have the scent right or is that just a twin snakes thing he's right there right can you do it in this one too Maybe not. Dogs! Ow. Ah, dogs! Oh, I should do a Xenosaga stream? Or Xeno Gears. Ow, get off of me! God, I hate shooting animals in games. So mean. It's super mean. So this cave system here is kind of revamped in Metal Gear Solid 3 after the fight with Ocelot. Not quite, but it's a similar practice. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Hey, fuck you! How do I do the the box thing here? Oh god, I don't want to hit Meryl to do a trick, but I guess I'm gonna... There we go. It sucks that they're like, oh, hit her. What are you doing? Video game. So let me do the neat little trick. We're gonna have to go, because we're gonna have to go back anyway. She's gonna get shot and then I have to go, sorry, I have to go back a couple buildings and grab a sniper rifle. It's awkward. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Do you want to see the other secret in a second? Can I skip this? No, I have to watch it. That's hysterical. The tower climb. And then you do the repelling, which is really awkward. The other secret way... The other secret way around. Ah. Um, the other secret way around. I'll show you in a second. 
it's stupid. And I'm actually going to show you using thermals. She's like, ta-da. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? You're pretty so good. Weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. I mean, you can crawl, but I want to show you the the other way. Well, a little bit. Because it's Only stupid. A little. The other way is. That. <laughs> it's just that you just go to the right, and you um, and you hug the wall. They make this big fuss of it, and then you're just like, oh, you just go over there. Meryl, get down! Meryl. The version of this in Twin Snakes is wild. She watches, they watch that laser for about 15 seconds. They're like, huh? And I like Twin Snakes cutscenes, kind of, right? I think it's interesting. And that one's a little, like... Come on, guys, what are you doing? Snake, leave me and run. Meryl. I guess I am a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl, it's me they want. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for E3. To you out. E3 leaks are always a crapshoot. Shoot me, Snake. No. My to be fair, there were only. A handful of I can't reach it by myself. Um things at E3 we didn't know were coming. I promised. I would slow you down. Yeah, Kitamura I, I, I did a good I job. Or some I, I think mostly did a good job. A lot of the cyborg uh, the cyborg ninja stuff is great. Some of the fight stuff with um I wanted to be a soldier. With Liquid Snake is really good. Yeah, RE2 was the one I wasn't expecting. Um, that was the big thing for me. And I'm super excited to play it. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. She like really resigns herself to it. Now get out of here. My favorite Resident Evil is Resident Evil 3. Meryl! I think Resident Evil 3 is really cool. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. You're telling me the sniper is Sniper Wolf? Pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching. I think, um... To expose yourself. I was a little skeptical of... Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? Of Resident Evil 2 when I first saw it, and then I saw a little bit more gameplay, and I understand, like, it's like remixing something, right? Like, remake or whatever, but I mean, like, usually I want things to be pretty faithful, and then in this case, it was like... I was into it. I was into it. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what. Especially it after seeing how the zombies reacted and everything was really good. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You try See, to save they them do the genes thing skin. again. I wouldn't go that far, but. I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I, I thought, thought they were ripped. It. Like an animal? Frayed. Frayed genes. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Metal Gear Survive. Thanks. I, I encourage you to read my review of Metal Gear Survive. I think it's a very fascinating game. It's not a good game. But I like that review. I like how I gotta be like, peace out. be like, I need a sniper rifle. I've actually never played acid. Ah, you fuckers! Leave me alone.
They look so mean. Where's the items here? I saw an item. What? Oh. There we go. Yeah, so like the darkness here in the cave thing ends up being like... It feels a lot like a, um... What, what ends up being repeated in... Well, that was weird. In Metal Gear Solid 3. Where's my way out of here again? Oh, here. You fuckers! Leave me alone, dogs. They'll never find me here. They think I'm a dog. Am I a dog? I don't know anymore, Otacon. I know I'm a dog of war. But when I wear this box, they think I'm a real dog. What does it mean, Otacon? What? Oh, it's the elevator. I was like, why isn't this door opening? I'm no dog. Never was. Just an old killer hired to do some wet work. Oh, this fucker's gonna turn around and he's gonna kill me. It's gonna be tragic. Not really, I can get out of here pretty quick. This place is far more difficult to navigate going in than going out. I mean, I played through Survive. It was exhausting, man. It was just... Oh, you fucker. Get away from me. Um... Oh, no, more of them? No! I'm a fool. Oh, there are a ton more. Oh, there's way more. <laughs> I forgot that they restocked. crawl around on your belly like a snake. Oh, there's so many. Oh my Christ. Wow. <laughs> That's hysterical. I mean, this is great. I get more of them and that helps me way further down the road. I get to reap the benefits of that during the Vulcan Raven fight. So there are things I like about Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, I think a lot of what's... Oh, I can't pick them up anymore? What? I think a lot of what that game is doing is it's like remixing... Not to the same extent as Metal Gear Solid uh, 2. But it's remixing a lot of familiar elements in order to comment on their like inherent absurdity. Or it feels that way to me. So it's like, hey, here's a boss fight that is... An octopus who cloaks and plays mind games with you a little bit like... Oh, that's right. This is... We're good now. A little bit like the uh, Psycho Mantis fight, but also carries Solidus Snake's P90 and is, like, doing, like, nine other different things. It's interesting. Um... So I think structurally there's some interesting stuff going on there. It's definitely, I think, overall my least favorite uh, one in the series, though. <laughs> For fucking real? Dude, what? I thought I was like a smooth operator there for a second. That's hysterical.
Uh, leave me alone? You fucker! Don't do it. Don't do it. Thanks, buddy. I'm just gonna shoot these fuckers. Like... I don't have a lot of ammo, though. That's annoying. So you can see how they get a lot of mileage from different spaces because what they do... And it's the way that you generally escalate your complexity in games a lot. It's by altering scale, right? So what they do here is they will alter, um, in this case, the amount of enemies. Um, and it ends up being a pretty useful remix of each location. Uh, I think Twin Snakes had the Trank Gun, if I recall correctly. No, because Metal Gear Survive didn't cost them a lot to make. You take all the assets from Metal Gear 5... You add some slightly different mechanics and context that you think are going to be popular. Survival games, horror, everything. And then you just make it, right? Um, that's what's going on there. Oh, you're talking about Metal Gear 4. Metal Gear Solid 4. Very cautious of traps. I feel called out. I wanted to see if I could shoot uh, that right there. Why well, I have everything I need except the friggin' PSG one. Garbage. Gibby Garbo garbage. It's like down here, I think. Shit. Do these ones move? No, they're just super screwy. Oh my god, it's so awkward to move your body in this game sometimes. Wild. I forgot how screwed up that was. And yeah, I guess I should... Is there a thing here? The top left, you say? Oh, right there. I want... Rations, dude. I want... Can I blow this guy up when he gets a little closer? Oh, no! I said that as if I was, um, Knuckles. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> that was silly. Stun grenade, chaff grenade. I need a fucking... I need rations, dude. It's annoying. I want some delicious rations. The Nikita is also one way that you can 
mess with um, things. Did somebody say ri rising was an asset flip? Holy shit. You don't know what that term means, do you? Holy Christ. What a thing to say. What a thing to say. That's fucked up. Oh no, there's a guy. I was looking at the chat. Yeah, I'll just let them kill me. <laughs> okay, cool. Survive, yeah. For a minute, I was like, rising? What are you talking about? That's wild. <laughs> I don't know, I just saw part of chat. Do I have all my weapons? Oh no, it drops me off here before I actually get the, uh, the weapons. That's hysterical. Well, it's not hysterical. It's, in it's inconvenient. Is what it is. Crap, I have to do this again? I definitely hope you read the review. I like... Every now and then I write stuff I'm proud of, and that's one of them. I, uh, I think it came out really good. Also, that game's fascinating. It's basically a game about trying to make a Metal Gear game. And it's, um... Fucking bizarre. You know, the, the save slot thing actually doesn't gr is it doesn't fuck with me as much. Because you don't need it. Why would you need a sec second character slot? In the I mean, maybe somebody's really hardcore about it. I don't know. It's, it is scuzzy, but also, like, on the list of scuzzy things that I think we've had to deal with in, like, recent years. Like, I know it sounds like I'm doing, like, a relative privation thing here. Of Like, it's not as scuzzy, but also, like, it hardly affects anything. It's buried in the menus. Is one That was actually one of the few cases where I was, like... Like, I'm ready to dunk on Metal Gear Survive overall. Um, but it's also, like, it's not... There are other ways to dunk on it that are actually, like, useful. Um, no, it's called Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, for those of you who missed it earlier, I literally wrote the book on that game. Lucky for me. Literally wrote the book on Metal Gear Survive. Or, excuse me, on Metal Gear Rising. Awkward! Awkward! Let me up! Where'd you come from, asshole? Wow, they just show up right away. Ow, fucker! Jesus! I thought I had it. Metal Gear Rising is a super good game. Super good. They're back! It repopulates them? I guess I never realized. I just gotta get to the top floor. I need... I need some rations or something, man. No, the, the trapdoors don't trigger for guards. It might be some extra sort of stuff on hard mode there. Wouldn't surprise me. Elevator? Huh? Don't do it, fucker. Don't do it. Arxist making the Kill a Kill game still pretty cool. Right? Oh, fucking hell. Video game. That's hysterical. Uh... Yeah, Rising is cheap right now. You should... 
you should get Metal Gear Rising, you should get Binary Domain, you should get a couple different games right now. Um, are there rations and stuff here, maybe? Let's find stuff. Soak on bullets. I might have to use the restroom again quickly. I think Metal Gear Rising is uh, one of the secret best Metal Gear games. It's really good. More people should play it. I think Etsu Tamari is actually probably a better writer than Kojima. Not even probably. I think overall that that game is like silly and pulpy, but actually far more co like way more coherent than Metal Gear Solid um, uh, Four and Five. Oh man, Binary Domains not just surprisingly good to decent shooter. It's a good shooter, and it also has like shit to say, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so this guy got a ration or something? No, just soak on bullets. That guy does have a ration. I'm gonna eat it. Whoa. I forgot. Oh, that's how I get back outside, huh? Yeah, binary domain's really cool because you can shoot the limbs off of robots and it's just like, mm. So we played, you can watch my, um, the end of my Binary Domain playthrough on our channel, if you look back, because uh, I stream games, and one of the games I streamed on this channel was Binary Domain, uh, which is just dope as all gosh. It's really good. Um, oh no, I was just all down here. For some reason, I was thinking I was in a different building. It's uh, It's a really good game. Uh, what I'm going to do once I get out here is I'm actually going to step away, go to the restroom again very quickly, and we'll keep on playing. Binary, do binary Domain's really good. They played it over at Waypoint as well. Uh, Rob didn't like it as much as I had hoped, which was unfortunate, but, you know, different strokes, different folks. Oh, my controller's in a weird spot. Hold on. Ah. It, like, fell. You think there's a ration over here? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Huh? Huh? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Side. Oh well. I'm not gonna get anywhere close to where I want to as fast as I am, as I thought I was going to. Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward. There's one in here, right? In the truck? Hmm. 
Might be wrong, but I think there is. So we do have a ration if we want it. And then we have the box, which is good. And so I think we'll be okay, right? On the left, you say. I swear to gosh, there's one also in here. Oh, there's not. <laughs> Never mind, I was wrong. On the ramp up? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't need to clog up chat too much. You can just run underneath cameras. So you think there's one over here? It's what, it's what you're trying to tell me up here on the catwalk. I always forget that this is a thing. You'll notice I'm not really talking to the support staff. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should. I mean, I'm not going to, but maybe I should. Where's this guy turn? Up. And around. Isn't there more stuff this way too? Am I misremembering? Oh, there's that. There's also stuff further up there. Motherfucker! Just kill me. Just kill me. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there's. Like, I was talking about that earlier, how you can just, like, not call her. Which is really weird. Really? It's, like, super weird? I don't understand it. It's a little odd. Especially when she's a character that kind of backs up a lot of the political theming of the game to just have her like not up sort of properly. Um, integrated part of the game is really odd to me. You would think that they would want her to be exactly that. Um, somebody who could drop some of that exposition stuff without it feeling as forced, because it's like in her wheelhouse. Russians in here, maybe? Can I go back in there? No. Are the Russians down here? I forget. Let's just double check and get ammo and stuff. Actually, extra diazepam would be good, so that's fine. Oh, this dipshit's gonna come out of here, though, huh? Oh, under the table? In the other room on the side? You might be right. Oh, dude, I can't get a good eye on them. Oh, 
Oh, he just dropped some too. Thanks, dude. Thanks, guy. No thanks to this guy, though. Who I'm gonna have to kill. Yeah, over here, huh? Underneath one of these, huh? I thought. Oh, dude, fucking so stupid. It's like the last thing I wanted to happen. Was that? that? Annoying. A box. Don't you touch it. You fucker! Don't do it. You fucker again! I don't have to go get the box again. Ah, Jesus, this is annoying. I forgot how weird, uh getting knocked into this uh, this shit was. Oh, there's one down here, isn't there? I think everybody's pretty much dead. Except for Steve, who somehow survived. I see you, Steve. Video game guard Steve. Uh, my favorite Metal Gear is 2. Or Metal Gear Solid is 2. Yeah, I am not playing on Euro. Or uh, not even on Hard right now. As you can tell, I'm playing it kind of loose today. I want to cut together a, a more competent playthrough uh, to talk about this game a little bit, though, at some point. Which some of you guys seemed interested in. Guys and gals and non-binary pals. Um, so it's definitely something on the table. Have I ever gotten a big boss rank in a Metal Gear game? Yes, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. I've been meaning, I've, I've kind of always wanted to attempt it, attempt it, I said that weird, attempt it in Metal Gear Solid 2, but I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it now that I have so many things I have to play for work. Um, it's just kind of how things go, but yeah, I have it in Metal Gear Solid 4. I have pretty much everything in that game. Um, I played a lot of that game. Um, like a ton. But yeah, I'm a little sloppy right now. Um, it's been a while since I've played this game in particular, so, you know, that's how it goes. Why did I like 2 so much? It's super good. That's why. <laughs> that's all I got. My explanations for why I, uh... Um... Right, there's so much stuff I, uh... Oh, I'm actually curious. I don't think I can, but... Um... No, because it's jammed here. I think about, uh, how, um... In the snow field, you can cheese this using the Nikita. Oh, that's right, it goes straight into this. That's awkward and weird. Where are you? Over here, to the side. Oh, she's gonna knock me into a mine or something? That'd be awkward. It's been a while since I've done this boss fight. It's really clumsy. Ow! <laughs> like, for real? At the time, though, this was as cool as hell, because you can see her breath, right? Which is like a big deal. And she's gonna keep on hitting me. 
I, I, I used some diazepam before. Look, I, I'll chomp on two to make you happy. Even though it doesn't really do anything. Um, you're over to this side, aren't you? No. You're behind a column. Where are you? So there we go. The cigarettes do it too, yep. And then in two, it's a. Uh, it's pentazamine. Are you rationing those rations? Nah, man. Because I'm just playing. Do these ever have anything in them? I don't think so. It'd be really funny if they did. Um, no, we're just playing. We're going to get captured, which actually means I should do this. Huh? Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? That's why I called you, Meryl. Meryl? Mailing? What? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm oh, that's right, they have this. They go like, oh, something's wrong. I'm playing this on a PS3. Although when I play Killer7, and you can watch those playthroughs on our channel, I do play using a GameCube. Um, I have a PlayStation 2 here, a GameCube, a Dreamcast, a PS3, a PS4, a Switch, and a Xbox One that I don't use much. Snake, it's all up to you. Um, I actually want to play and record some... Uh, some Dreamcast games soon. Before that console finally shits the bed on me. When it does, I'll fucking cry. Um, I love the Dreamcast. It's my favorite console. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. We were playing it. We had gotten to the second chapter on a playthrough, and then I restarted that playthrough after E3 because there was a big gap between me streaming and everything. Sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? So. Uh, Skies of Arcadia is my favorite game, if anybody's ever curious about what my favorite video game is. Which will it be? Um, I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. It's a really good game. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my special prey. Got it. It sounds like bullshit to say, but I will say it. I, I think Skies of Arcadia probably changed my life. You. Um, all I did I get all the champs? I've played through the game so many times. I have an entire playthrough of it on my YouTube channel. And the only reason I didn't do the champs there is I actually didn't have access to my Dreamcast at the time, so I was emulating. And you can't get to Hamacho Island without downloading that or playing Legends. And I don't like playing Legends because I actually think it's the worst version of the game uh, because the sound quality in it be, to be to fit onto the GameCube disc, um, the audio has to be compressed a ton and that game has amazing music. So I get pissed off at, by that version even if it has all the extra story stuff. Solid Snake. Skies of Arcadia. Fantastic game. So good. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. So we're about halfway through? The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who... You got all the old man's superior genes. He mopes like an idiot. How are we getting out of the jail cell today? Catch up. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now... Just gonna do the, uh, the classic. Our brothers. Our After 30 four, long years. Disc 2, not quite two, yet. Us. We have to do this. We the have the, uh, the second sniper wolf fight. And then we get it. Dark. And then the, the end of the game... It's DNA too. Yes. 
gets a little screwed up because um, you have to do the memory card thing, and it's kind of annoying. Then we'll be able to kill. Well, actually, no. We do the hind fight after this, to get our hands on and then sniper wolf. So we actually have two bosses. So forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. Somebody they mentions Metal Gear Solid Three Escape prison sequence. It is better. One of them. You'll notice, kind of like I said, that he um. Occurred. They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear um, weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend... I like... I, I, I like that version, but I also remind people, like, some of the remixing that happens in these games is also, like, mm, I don't know. Some of it's good. I think in Metal Gear Solid 2, there's a point to it. And then a lot of stuff gets repeated just because, and they shouldn't. I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Kojima's made the same game like four times over. James Flinders. Boss. I see through that, Cam Clark. I know it's you. Then what? Oof, those idiots. All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride, ride it all, all the way, way into history. history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker. So that link I'm dropping to you is the best piece of video games criticism I've ever uh, read. I almost said written. Jesus, I wish I wrote, wrote it. Uh, driving off the map is a hugely important... Later, brother. Um, a hugely important piece of writing for video games. Um, worth reading to see what Metal Gear Solid 2 is doing, but also to understand just kind of how like level design can play into themes and a couple other things. Really worth reading. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Those camera angles. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Revol That's why they call me Revolver Bed. All right. I'm about to show you My favorite mech design, I really... So I like Ray. And not just because I like Metal Gear Solid 2, but because actually... I think that one's a little bit more fun. So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? Campbell. By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? Do not. That's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. No, Rex is a good design, Mac. You were holding one card key. It's, um... The other two. What's the trick behind that key? It's really, like, beefy and powerful. That weasel of a president said this it's one of the few ones that feels like what the Metal Gear's purpose actually is, right? Because it's just meant to be, like, this walking tank that you just set down and shoot your nuke from. 
And then Ray's a little different because it's meant to destroy other Metal Gears. Just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. What button do I press again? Circle? I hope it's circle. Press Don't ever think about using rapid fire. Strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to... What if I fuck this up? When your life reaches zero... That'll be disappointing. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Will you though? I'm going to run he does. a voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time. No, I mean if if I die here, I die, and I don't get to continue. Is what happens. You're a tough. I'm not going to submit. But I've got some bad news. That's not what happens. No That's not what happens. No if I die, I get a game over, and then I have to reload no my save. Which is why I saved my game before I got to feel a little captured by Sniper Wolf. Good. You should be. Okay. Because if I somehow fuck it up, I'm not gonna... Um... I don't want to put up with that nonsense. I don't want to have to fight through like nine bosses because I did wasn't saving. How did you like that? Shall we go again? <laughs> Had enough yet? We're not finished. He does the whole. <laughs> This is... You still okay? Want me to go on? I might mess this up. Can you take one more? This one goes on a while is the problem. This one's gonna be close. Yeah. That's annoying. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now. You have to do it another time. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? No one. The Les Enfanterie project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. By smooching me. They do this thing too where they're like, I'm going to stimulate the muscles in your arm. You get to put it up against your arm and it's like, oh. Old Troy Baker. Huh? Uh, snake. Looks like I got a roommate. He's decomposing. The DARPA chief? It's a hint something's wrong. Yeah, I guess after a while I get, um... What a, a little zoned out. And so I'm not doing as much, like, commentary commentary here, which is fine. Can I get out of here before Otacon even gives me the ketchup? Let's find out. What the hell are you doing? I think he needs to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Shut up. But if I want to, I can call the colonel and be like, ah, oh, it hurts so bad. Snake. Are you okay? I think this triggers the story cutscene I need to do anyway. How's Mara? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Mara, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? 
Metal Gear was yeah. designed to launch a just, um, nuclear warhead, wasn't it? Kicking off this story sequence. You knew it all along, didn't you? You knew it, you bastard. Friends, if I finish this later, I'm sorry. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Do you think I've earned a pizza? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear. Secret or am I a, a lazy fuck who plays games and then just chows down on garbage? How deep does it? I feel like I would have earned a pizza. As far as I know, as of yesterday. The president had not been briefed about I think you could be mostly spoilery. I wouldn't spoil Metal Gear Solid 5 or like recent stuff, but this is like a 20 year old game. So. Oh, you guys are so nice with all the toppings now. But I am in Brooklyn, so I got I got decent uh, pizza near me. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even Jennifer Hale too, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution. <laughs> I like how he says that. Like, just stop you're a patriot and you don't want to listen to the Constitution, and we're here in like 2018. Like, oh, it'd be so funny if people did that. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you? I'm sorry that I remember so much of this script, the friends. Boss's remains. You see, or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. Publicly, the president has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence. There's not a lot of story to spoil in Metal Gear Solid 5 though. There's some good character moments in there, but mostly that game's kind of a mess. I like a lot of it, but it's also a bit of a mess. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh man. But it's strange. He's been drained of his blood. It smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. No one's like, hey, remember that Master of Disguise? Right. Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Remember, in his blood sneaky, been... sneaky dude, nano machines. Just the nano, Just the nano machines and the transmitter. Chief, tell them his detonation code. I'm, pl I'm playing up the accent there. It looks like they've got. Both oh yeah, snake. Oh, quiet. Damn. Twin snakes. How much is that on eBay right now? Because I have a copy. Type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special cards. I'd be curious to know. Where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Destroy the Metal Gear. Now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Forty-five bucks. So, <laughs> what? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I love those cutscene, uh, the codec uh, portraits. Go poop! Shut up in there, will ya? You're right to not like Five Story because there's almost no story. It's not a lot. It wants to do a lot. Man, when those, uh, when those, um, trailers showed up, it looked so interesting. And they just kind of fucked up a bit. Hey, Johnny. It wasn't technically complete, but also that's fucked up and like, it's, it's, it's so screwed up and garbage. But even if it was complete, it wouldn't be good. Ocelot wants me again. Oh, I should have saved. What am I talking about? Oh, this is going to be tighter. It's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult. One trick I do sometimes is to hold down my uh, index finger over the controller and just slide it back and forth like this. Okay. So you might, I might make a little bit more noise here. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. We'll see how this goes. When your life reaches zero. Just skip this and get to it. Ah. 
How did you like that? So this this way works a little bit better. Shall we go I don't know, it's loud though. It's really clunky and loud. Please tell me for posterity, so how do you feel? Quoting Princess Bride. I'm just looking at the controller, I'm not even looking at the screen, so maybe I fuck up big time here. Who knows? Oh, I should have filled up extra there. Damn it! Want me to go on? I forgot, I thought it was like only three and we're done. One more. So I think I should be good here. Who knows, maybe the uh, damage is like a ton. It lasts longer than the bar, I think. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. Yeah, so we'll save when we get back to the jail cell. A sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism. Mm -hmm. totalitarianism. Tell me about it. Perestroika. Perestroika, not as much of a relevant problem. Since the the thawing of the Cold War and everything is a little bit different. A new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. I did pretty good there, huh? It's loud though, huh? That 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 version of hitting the buttons. Because I'm using my nails, kind of. It's weird. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. No, you don't. You want to kiss Big Boss. I want Russia to take over. A convincing lie, Ocelot. Except I'm not convinced at all. Yeah, let's make sure to do that. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. He hadn't. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the Kodak is connected directly to your... Oh, I've been using empty blocks the entire time, huh? Really? We've been making more and more save files. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. I don't think you can hear from Master Miller at this point. So this is the moment too when she's like, "Haha." Don't worry. It'll feel good. Ready? Okay. Here I'll put it up against my uh, thing here. I don't know if you can hear it. How does that feel, Snake? Oh, it feels good. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nano machine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? You killed my brother. I... Uh, what? I'm not a very good talker. This is awkward. Ladies, tell me about yourself. Well, again, you killed my brother. That's a tough one. Any family? My brother, who you killed. <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. I had a family until you killed my brother. There was a man who said he was my father. Whoa, they bust out bestest yet to come right here? Dead. By my own hand. Big boss. Or like an instrumental of it? What? Big boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened yeah, that was the thing I was talking about before, is that, um... Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. Kojima's really good about using extra text. Is it and, like, the re like every part of the console and everything. That's what he said. It's actually something really nice that he does. And you were he messes up in other areas, but that's a really smart thing. 
is to make the act of play something that's actually like really all encompassing, which I really appreciate. It's a little crappier if you have some sort of disability that makes it hard for you to interact with the controller or whatever, but these games absolutely were not made with that in mind, which is a problem. Talking about one we share in common. Is that why you left Fox Sound? I mean, in Metal Gear Solid 2, you end up using like 16 buttons, 15 buttons that sometimes. Like if I'm shooting, I'm holding down square, I'm running and using L1 and R2, it's all messed up. Except my brother who you killed. Brother who put me through school. You killed him. They weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. He's dead now though, because you killed him. Where is he? He's dead. You killed him. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? You're also kind of a dick. Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. My brother, who you killed? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. I know who he is. He's Frank my brother. Fox. How long can I milk this bit? But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We Notice how she says try to kill. There was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides. Interesting little moment there. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He looked like somebody I was going to kill. So cool and Later. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. He didn't really show you the ropes besides just being like, no. hey. We never talked about our bye. lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. At least in Metal Gear. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. Sneak. I know it sounds strange to most people. Do you think love can bloom on a battlefield? Out. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. I know, right? We're pretty bad. We are. Snake says, oh, that's, yeah, we're, so we're fucking garbage. Friends. Then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. Punched him in a minefield. about genes, Naomi. It's fucked up. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. Sneaking. So uh, sneezing. Not DNA. sneaking. <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure... Is my commentary okay? I feel, uh... I feel self-conscious, friends. Analyzing a person's genetic information, I could I'll have to write... Like I said, I want to do like a, uh... Memory a good version DNA. of this. Like a focused sure. version. But we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence... Genetic fate, DNA. she says. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Uh, I do know, because I've, uh, uh, put a secret time bomb, uh, thing in you. She's like, your fate, I don't know. And he's like, I don't know, my... My blood feels like there's a freaky virus in it. I wouldn't know anything about that, Snake. What do you... what? No! You get out of here. Yeah, dude, go shit. I don't think I need to call Otacon. If I want to, I can probably get out this way, huh? I wanted to use the ketchup, but, you know. I mess this up sometimes, though. I get out of the thing too early. Otacon, no, I'm- you're fucking up my plan! Hey, I'm here! God damn it. I'm invisible. Uh, I was gonna hide. Hi, Otacon. I brought you some ketchup! Otacon. Do you have any food? Have no! Hurry, get Are you hungry? Let me go, that hurts! Hurry up! Is that how you ask a guy a favor? This is how you guy. This is how you ask a guy a favor. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell! Because of him. 
Yeah, it's the Derpa chief. Yeah. Don't hurry up and get me I like the way he read that line. Laying next to him. Oh, bastard. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? Brought you ketchup. I I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? Please don't hurt Actually, Sniper Wolf. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Uh, she shot at me and Meryl. That's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. I love that. Please don't hurt her. She likes dogs. She must be okay. And she is a decent character. I like Sniper Wolf, but also just like that. I've got to stop them. She likes dogs. Communications tower. She's like killed like every like a ton of people. I'm trying my best. Yeah, cut me some slack, Snake. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. Quick! He opened the door. I can smell it. Hide. I I did kill some dogs. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. I didn't mean to kill the. Well, I did. I very purposely shot those buttons to kill the dogs, but uh, you know, they were biting the shit out of me. Huh? He's gone. No, he busts you out if you just like dick around. Oh no, I killed Johnny. Snake! You created a time paradox. Oh, I need my items. I need to get rid of the transmitter. Or the bomb. That's all I gotta get rid of, huh? That's not what I meant to do at all. What? I just threw C4. You say journalists can't play games, but I ate shit fighting Gray Fox earlier. That was a close one, Snake. Oh no, that was me throwing the bomb. You'll pay for that. I like how they're like, oh, it must be Ocelot. Could be anybody. Ocelot's in a room somewhere. You don't know it was me, motherfucker. We're gonna have to go up the tower. It's gonna suck. No! I had trouble adjusting to the controls. If you're asking if it's difficult to adjust to the old gameplay of Metal Gear Solid, I, I'm, I mean, I've played this game, must be like 15 times. Played it a lot, but it's also been a couple years. Like, you're, you don't hold on to stuff. I'm old, I forget things. Um, I like when you do that, because he just stands up super suddenly. I think it's really funny. 
The lack of first person was an adjustment. The actually the hardest thing was just like um forgetting how to like run and shoot and not remembering if it's a feature in the game or things like that. Like there was a part of me that was like, "No, that's just the Metal Gear Solid 2 thing." I'm I've played so much Metal Gear Solid 2. Um that I just kept on forgetting like no, you can actually do a lot of the same stuff in here, but you can just do it better and more streamlined there. Yeah, if you want to sneak over grates, you have to do like this nonsense. Because, because like even that, what I did there was like uh, too much movement. is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, ridiculous. Actually, do I have, I have max rations, so it's fine. And then, I could have afforded to pick up some more FAMAS bullets, but whatever. He walks past me here though, which is good. It's like he can't even see me right now. I can get some FAMAS bullets up here though. Which is good. Is this guy gonna turn around? No, he's gonna go around there. Nice and clean. Um, I'm using a PS3 right now. Uh, if I wanted to, I could play it on my PS2. I just... my discs are somewhere. I'm pretty sure I know where they are, actually, so I have just this spare copy that I don't really need. Um, this, like, spare digital copy that I'm playing now when I really didn't need to. The next boss is the hind. And Otacon gives you the stinger. I believe. And Snake's all like, that takes care of the funeral, the cremation, or whatever. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I was playing this on my own time, I'd be really going through a lot of the uh, codex stuff, but I want to uh, to do that. Yeah, you can. You still have the manual. We showed that off earlier when I was like, hey, what's, what's, uh, what's Nastasha's number? And it turns out, yeah, you can just peruse it right here, which is good. It's so much easier with the handkerchief. I was sitting on my foot, my left foot, and now it's asleep. Don't be like me. Don't do that. Don't be a fool like me. Also, just do this. We showed it off earlier, but that's actually the way around. A dog, huh? Can I eat it? Remember that thing had that happened like 30 minutes ago? Here it is again. Meryl! He's like, I fucked up! Save your strength. 
I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please. Okay, I'm skipping that. I'm sorry. I don't need to see it again. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. I'm not really her dad. Me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so I mean, this game did not come out in 2000. It's all my fault. <laughs> it's not like this game is... Oh, hey, you again. What is it? They're bringing him back into the plot. No, this game uh, came out in 1998. Master. Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the PC port. Keep attacking yourself for things I think. That Never mind. Past. I misunderstood. I was like, it's not a 2000 game. Believe me. Snake, I'm here to Don't talk to you. It it's your friend, McDonald Miller. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl, she's pretty special to you, huh? Shut up. Yes, she's special. Leave me alone. I don't I like her. No. Like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. She's full of shit. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. He calls the colonel back up. Colonel, I'm, I can't... I can't watch my back. My eyes, they... They keep looking forward. I should do this, huh? Just in case. You caught Snake? No, Johnny's fine. He's... he's... he's fine. You act like something bad happened to Johnny. Johnny's okay. PSG1 bullets up here, I think. Maybe some diazepam, too. I, I like those camera angles. No, he's fine. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Um, I have two memory cards in my PlayStation 2. I don't need memory cards here. Oh, are we? Oh, what? That's right, they do it. You sons of bitches. They start you right into it. Are you ready for a good time? And by that I mean one of the most absurd sequences in a game. Ah, no! Don't, st don't stick against the wall. Look at that active reload. Ow, fucker! Stop it! Go away! Leave me be! Wait, can I? 
It's a trick. It's a trick. Snake, that's the door to the walkway. It won't open, even if I use the card. Sometimes the door gets frozen, frozen shut, he says. I forgot about that. That's actually kind of a funny bit. Oh, he's gonna punch me. No. Video game, why? Ow. Oh, I keep on hitting the edge there. <laughs> Sometimes the controls can be a little awkward, especially in high tension situations. Boss fights in particular also can be really clumsy to sort your way through. You're really wrestling against the game in a lot of ways. Oh, the Final Fantasy uh, staircase is way better than this, I think. They're both very good staircases, but, you know. Like, where'd he go? This is when we first see the hind. What a thrill of darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. Searching and I melt into you. Just do that. I give my life not for Rana. They go wild there when they, it finally hits the uh, the rest of stuff. For you. They just start belting it. Then he shows up. Snake. No, no, so I'm. I have a helicopter snake, <laughs> that's what he says. You can find the parachute later on. There's a whole moment where it's like, do 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 do. Damn. Snake! What if you leave the rope? Can you I'm not pick up the rope? You then you have to go all the way back down for the rope. That could. You're not going any far. I'd laugh my ass off. down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. I love that line. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use the rope I got. Because it's modular, right? If I don't have the rope, it doesn't say that. So the game's reminding me, like, oh, you got a rope. Yeah, this rules. Look at the frame rate slow down. Oh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> 
Here's how to repel. Thanks. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing... Right yeah, I have this. I have a little bit of stuff with Otacon. Make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional... Then I'm going to have a... Uh, slowly across the wall. I'm going to have a thing where... Um, you should be able to dodge... I have to fight the stealth guys on the elevator. Down. If anyone can do it, you can. I don't remember any- I wasn't paying attention to anything what he was just saying. Steam? Ow! Ow! Wow, I'm actually way better at this than I thought. Turns out I'm great. Took like two seconds. You can just chill. Give me this. Thanks. It doesn't open. I can't go back. I was kind of curious if, if I could. Oh, what the fuck? Ow. I'm gonna die. What? Whoa. <laughs> That's hysterical. So wait, what am I meant to do? Chaff or something? Can I open the door? Uh, can you can you open it for me? Or is it just one of these things where I have to... Oh, dude, it hurts so much! What do I do? Wait, what? Is it Nikita? I'm just gonna let him kill me. I remember nothing about this part. <laughs> I really don't remember that. C4 the door? Why don't I remember any of this? That's hysterical. Wow, man. Like, it's the little things that you really forget. Like, the controls and then, like, that sort of thing. like ammo here for me rations thanks thanks game do i have to nikita here uh, let's give it a try That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, I almost sent it right back at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was awesome. here. Ah! Why do your bullets hurt so much? Probably because they're bullets, but... <laughs> Let me open the door? Jesus, video game. Oh, 
missiles for that stinger. Oh yeah, I could have sniped, huh? I don't remember using Nikita for that. So we're getting there. But I want to ride the elevator. I want to go up and down. Huh. I can't go down, though. It's gonna be like, oh no, the thing's destroyed. All the dudes on the elevator. I like that sequence. It's actually a pretty good one. I can't jump! We didn't cover it in basic training. You can see how, like, I stream longer and then my voice gets deeper. Well, it's also because of all the snake I'm doing. A lot of, like, huh. Oh, what are we gonna do now, Colonel? Tim Rogers does a good, uh, solid snake impersonation because he already has a, a pretty deep, uh, let's call it robust voice. Just go over to where Tim's working in the office. Behind D. Don't shoot! It's me! Don't shoot! It's me, Snake! Otacon, how'd you get here? It wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. Did you push the up button, Snake? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You're incredible. Um, like I stream. I, I stream mostly every weekend. Um, no. but this is special because I'm playing no. through an entire game. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. Uh, you next know? weekend we'll probably do maybe Monster Hunter with uh viewers, Forget or we'll do. Snake. I'll try and finish up near Automata. I really gotta ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Do you think Sniper Wolf? Will smooch me? Have you ever loved someone? Love my gun. <laughs> I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in. So stupid. What are you trying to say? I want to ask. Have you ever loved someone? Love my forty-five. Do you think love can bloom? I swear to God, I'm gonna put together yeah, so. <laughs> like a smart person person playthrough of this game, <laughs> like a two-hour. Um, let's play of like analysis. You love someone, <laughs> but I can't do it right now. Them. <laughs> well, my girlfriend saw a Jurassic World, by the way. She's telling me about it. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. The mechanist. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Um, okay? so I tend to stick with what's on our schedule. So we're playing through Killer7. We're going to finish up Nier. I do this, it doesn't matter. After I finish Nier... I'm actually going to start up I'm counting on you. Um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And then I tend to write about these games on the website too. Um, my girlfriend says that it's all right. She says, this is all text message stuff right now. It takes a lot for a movie to impress me now. So that's decent praise coming from me. And I believe it. Yeah, the schedule's down below. Right now it's every mon Monday and Wednesday. Is the melee attack with the Nikita pretty wild in this game, too? Oh, I can't even select it. In Metal Gear Solid 2, it's um, this big swipe that's actually really good and useful during the... Um, 
during the fight against Vamp when he runs at you. If you time it right, you can just hit him. And it does, um, even better, it does stamina damage, which is just top tier good shit. Fucker! Ow! Son of a bitch. I don't have any rations. Fuck. Are y'all for real? I forgot about the gun turrets. Is there one there? Oh, that's right. This game is stupid. And I can't... What the fuck? I can't aim normal. I'm not gonna use the stinger on the cameras. Can I Nikita? Does the Nikita go up the stairs, or am I going to kill myself here? I can't use the Nikita. Ah, son of a bitch. You're right. I can't even aim up high enough! You fucking nonsense world. What? What? I don't have chaff. I don't have any chaff right now. I can be like, ha. Huh. I don't have chaff. Stop saying chaff. I don't have it. What if I just tried it anyway? Nope, that does not. That's stupid. Ah, Metal Gear. Ah. Ah. I can make it. I can make it. Oh god. This is stupid. I'm gonna die. Let's find out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This next, whatever the next one is, it's gonna kill me. There's four of them? Sh motherfuckers. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm gonna die. It's okay. <laughs> wow. That's so silly. Whoa. That one was really, like, dramatic. I can't aim the sniper enough. Oh, you think I can go up a little higher? Let's try. I'm wasting my stinger missiles. Can I pick up anything there? No, there's not enough. Okay. It just felt like a weird thing to do. Also, I didn't want to use the missiles if I didn't have to. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Fuck, ow, stop it, video game. This is awkward. Fucking nonsense. <laughs> ah! No, I threw it the wrong way. From as far away as I can is flat up against the wall. I think it's gonna crash against. No, because the sniper rifle makes me go prone, guys. Like, maybe? 
Maybe if I'm back a lot? This might be awkward. Like, look, I can't even... Is this version nerfed? I don't think they care about nerfing. I would have to track back and get some chaff. But I don't know if there's any here. I can't aim, I can't hit them. Like, look, even I'm flat across from it on here if I was going back down or whatever. Maybe I can... Can I at least shoot this one? I can't even shoot it with a bullet. No, I don't have rations. That's why I'm so fucking pissed. <laughs> There's no particularly good way. Everybody keeps on saying chaff. Motherfuckers, I do not have any. I love you, but you're not paying attention. Maybe there's some all the way down. <laughs> Maybe there are. Maybe this is like the weirdest backtracking moment in the history of the world. Yeah, he's just circling the tower. Just like, where is he? I thought I had Snake. No, see, I get this. You guys are making me laugh my ass off. I don't... If I die enough, doesn't it give me a ration? If I go out here, I'm gonna get... shot by... Liquid, right? What? C4. So I can open that if I want to. What is... what? But there are just more guns here on the stairs that are gonna kill me. Right? Oh, let's find out. Let's find out. Aren't there cameras? I thought there were. This is so weird. I mean, I'll go all the way down and then all the way back up. I don't care. Do it all. Because there's stuff down here, I know. Because there's a ration here. And then. I mean, the ration might be enough, but. Let's find out. Any items here? No. Let's go all the way up. No, I'm not going to go all the way up. I mean, there might be rations on the cha on the uh, on the chairs on the stairs. So, guys, what if I use chaff? Do you think that would work? I don't know, guys. What should I do? Is it chaff? Let's see if we can grab some stuff here and then just head back down to the middle. Let's go up and down the stairs. I think chaff's the way to go. I cracked for a minute just being like, guys, I don't have, like very much like, guys, I don't have chaff grenades. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not great at this game. I 
I should get pizza now. No, I gotta finish the game. I have to earn my pizza. Is none of the stuff showing up here? Was it only during the ascent? Like the actual sequence? Whoa, what? Snakes, like, I think I could try and do like a um, I don't know if there's any here, there might not be. We're just gonna have to go back down, like, straight back down. Frustrating, um, yeah, imagine doing this. This would be a, this would be absurd. <clears throat> I think I'd love to one day do like a foxhound run of this game, it would just require a lot of practice. But then again, that's what the big boss thing that I did in Metal Gear Solid 4 was. Um, it just took a lot of time. I could probably do Metal Gear Solid 2. That would also just take a little bit of practice. MGS3 is actually not too bad because you have a lot of save slots, but but I still don't know. I, I don't feel like I would want to do that because that one seems a little bit more tech heavy. The entire sequence during um, Europe is like hard. Yeah. In MGS4. It's like not fun. That and I still don't like the the deck of um, of the arsenal gear at the end. Like it's just hard. I think I might need chaff. Why are we talking about Fat Man? That's an easy boss fight. You shoot him a couple times with your SOCOM and then he falls down, you shoot him in the head with your, um... With your, with, uh, your M9. Ow! The fuck out of here, video game. This might not even be enough. Imagine if it's not, I will fucking cry. Should I consume? The ration? Will I get more health out of it if I consume or if I... Have the auto use, I always forget. No, you can't roll on this. What do you guys think? Ration? Eat it? Delicious. What? They missed me! What if I get up through through this without any more bullets hitting me? That's probably not gonna happen. But what if? Ow! Fuckers! It hurts. Imagine if that was like all I had to do the entire time. And I, and I was like, no, I went back and I got these rations and everything because I'm a dipshit. Now there's just like 20 of them on a wall. You thought that you won, didn't you, snake? Just like a bunch of nonsense. Did you like my sunglasses? You're like, no, Liquid, I didn't... Didn't really like your sunglasses. Oh, you know what would make this boss fight easier? Chaff. Thanks, video game. I must just shot the stinger missile. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a troll thing, huh? Of being like, hey, come on up, we have chaff. You're like, I would love to get up there, but I don't have chaff. Snake, did you like my sunglasses? You're like, Cam Clark. 
like anything that you do. Eat this! He goes wild. Who the hell are you? I'm you. I'm your shadow. I actually like this boss fight. Ask the father that you kill. I'll send you to hell to meet him. I like that grunt there. I don't have any smart thoughts right now. I'm sorry, friends. I want the ration. Ah, damn it. The Harrier fight in um, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a little harder because your cover is like only partial in certain areas and the angles that it, uh, it might attack you at, the, the, uh, the Harrier hits you at a weirder uh, location and space than some of these angles here. Um, and then the game sort of picks up the pace a little. Oh, I can't do the thing here, huh? You can do it in um, Metal Gear Solid 2 where you fire and then you lock on and it doesn't quite work. Oh, I know this is Leonardo. Trust me, I grew up with that shit. He also does dub work in like the early version of Berserk, which is just to die for. I probably will die in this uh, fight. I mean, although, who knows? That didn't hit for fucking real. Video game. Oh god, it's so awkward to fire. Shit. Like that when he does that. You're like, you don't really mean nice shot. Can't fire yet. He's gonna fire fires and missiles. I don't think Cam Clark is British. Yeah, so that should be good. It's funny when you get when you think about these boss fights, the thing that makes them difficult is like or the thing that makes them harder, right, is the controls. It's not It's not necessarily like their behaviors, right? Cuz like this is really easy cuz I have this thing here. And maybe I take damage and I die and I have to redo this fight, but it's not like you know, I can live with it. Oh, that didn't help me at all. It made things worse. Oh, I took damage. I might lose lose out here. Let's find out. Oh, he went down. Down, down. He went down. He is Ryudo in, uh, in Grandia too. <laughs> it's like they use that track for pretty much everything but it's also just like so good <laughs> cam clark byu that's brigham young <laughs> it wouldn't be a dude from brigham young i might get hit here Oh god. I'm trying to do my best here to dodge. Ah, oh, damn it. 
I'm low on stinger missiles. I need more. Oh shit, there's stuff up here. I need them. Delicious. You don't need the stereo or mono, though, unless you're playing with your radar off. Which I think is funny. Like, it's a funny suggestion, all things considered. Um, shit, dude! Get away from me! This thing's like, I can't hear shit. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I like the way he says gunship. It's what makes that line so good. He doesn't say gunship. He goes, Russian gunship. I might be able to get this still. It's just... Oh, boy. A bit of a hassle. Is he going down? It's funny that they still let you aim down there. In the Harrier fight, they actually disable a lot of your aiming, which I think is the better decision. Just do that. How's, how's your hearing now, guys? It's the most uh, comforting sound in the world. They do stop you from shooting immediately after, which I think is overall probably a good decision. I'm gonna pop up probably here and I won't have an angle, but maybe I will. Oh, there's a fly in my face. No. Not while I'm trying to focus on this helicopter video game, uh, fly. Yeah, he's gonna get me. I was like, he fired. That's fine. I mean, I'm okay with dying while playing this. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, fucking, I can't believe it. I'm so mad. You have all the inferior genes. Oh, now I don't have my ration. My ration. I don't have my ration. They don't have different voice actors in Twin Snakes. They have the same voice actors. Oh, there's one up here. They, um... Dave... Pa <laughs> I almost said Dave Pater. Dave Hader took, like, half pay and brought everybody back. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I, I aimed it too low. I took stupid ass damage. It might actually be best for me to consume the ration now and just have as much health bar as I can. It's stupid. It's hard to aim because I'm using the D pad. There we go. That was cutting it a little close there. Yeah, it is a little bit of a tedious fight, but it's like, it's not hard necessarily, but it's like, you can still get hit at, from like weird angles every now and then, and a couple other things can happen, and it doesn't quite work out, I think, the way that the game wants it to. I think it mostly works as this like really funny little shit. Cat and mouse thing. Did not mean to take the, uh, the damage there. Or miss the shot, rather. When he goes underneath, I'm going to grab the stingers. Oh shit, he's right there, fucker! Around here, around here. 
Oh, that's a weird angle. He couldn't hit me. Hit me from there. Can I grab him? I think I can. Oh shit. I need to get to the thing. Yeah, you can mess with the angle here. I have my own personal stream. Oh, I got hit there. Fucking hell. Sorry, I was looking at chat. I shouldn't when I'm fighting a fucking helicopter. Probably shouldn't look at chat. So I was playing the Jurassic Park uh, game the other day, the Park Builder, which I'm really into. I've been enjoying like, way more than I thought I would. Nathan wants to use this channel a little bit more, too, to play, like, new Steam games and stuff, and I think that'd be really cool. So that could be really good, too. Just doing this for a minute. Like, the boss fights are never that difficult. They're just kind of a little bit of a hassle. It's going to dip back down. God, it's going to take way longer to finish than I thought. Definitely gonna order food later. Ah! Yeah, see, he hit me there. That sucks. <clears throat> I'm playing on my PlayStation 3 right now. Um. Which I find those versions are pretty solid emulations, right? They're f basically first-party emulation, right? Unfortunately, I don't have a... Like, those nice early uh, PS3s with the backwards compatibility or anything. Oh, dang, that was a real close call. I almost got shot. What's the easiest food to eat while playing? You don't eat food while playing. Maybe some crackers, like a Cheez-It or something. Hand food, right? Would be the, the thing. <laughs> He's gonna pop up in a second. We are very close being done with this boss fight. PS3 emulation? RPCX and everything? Or, or do you mean like... Because like actual PC PlayStation, emula PlayStation 3 emulation still has uh, some things to sort out. It's getting there though. It's getting better. not buffalo wings now so one more hit so we've won the fight that's a nice feeling unless something incredibly terrible happens Pop up over here. That should be it.
I'm fine. Snake. Enjoy the cutscene. I'm gonna get a glass of water. See you in hell, liquid. That takes care of the cremation. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. Oh no, my mic. out of my way. <laughs> don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Sorry that got bumped. Call me if you need to. He's like, oh, nothing. I shot down a helicopter. Um... One nice thing is that... So we have Sniper Wolf, we have Vulcan Raven, we'll have Rex, and then we will have... Um... The fight against Liquid. How is everybody doing? Doing okay? My mind is mush. Blaskovich! Shimshin! You don't want to go down there, you'll turn into mush! You don't want to be mush, do you? Dude, this sucks. I gotta go back down through all of this nonsense? Hanging in there? Me too. Seriously thinking about pizza? What are you guys playing? Playing... Playing Metal Gear Solid. Huh. I do like the... We played through the New Order before, um... Oh, that was, like, perfectly timed. Before we got to New Colossus. Um, it was one of the first things... The first thing we played through on this channel was... Um... Ow! The first thing we played through on this channel was the Surge, and then we started playing around with, uh, some other games, including Binary Domain, and, uh... Ow! Um... And a couple other things which were good. Snake! I like how they give you the FAMAS bullets right there, just in case. We'll end up playing through Metal Gear Solid 2. 3 eventually. 3 is the one I'm rustiest on. And you want to know my, my actual secret? Is I've never played through a subsistence playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. No, I think I might have done one, but I used to not have the subsistence uh, version of that game at all. No, the box doesn't work because I'm already I'm already trapped in there with them. Snake. Yeah, the new camera, the subsistence camera is like ten times better. There were five stealth camouflage <clears throat> prototypes in my lab. Yeah. So, if you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. This isn't math this class. Is great math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. Maybe I'll play acid. Was intentionally <coughs> holding it. When you Pardon me. Riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About... 
135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Math. <coughs> I like the face the thing there. You stole my stealth prototype. <coughs> Pardon me. Had to clear my throat. I'm sorry, friends. Too late, Snake. Now die. I like this. My my way of winning. You know what the funny thing about is playing this game straight? Uh, because of the way I'm hitting the D-pad with the um, the crook of my thumb, it actually kind of hurts my thumb. Uh, something which I was not anticipating. Because who hits the D-pad with the tip of their thumb? Uh, freaks and communists. That's who. Uh, man, we're going to have... Sniper Wolf coming up, like, pretty much right away, huh? Is there any more ammo here? Yeah. That's good. A gun camera? Colonel, what's this bullshit doing here? Ah, fucker! Ah! Oh, this is the corridor where they shoot you and you get hit and there are traps or whatever and it sucks. So I don't need the stinger. What I need here, actually, the secret to this fight, um, you will see in a moment. It's going to be the Nikita. <laughs> um, or at least I'll show you, like, there's one way that you can do it. Ah! Snake, are you okay? I just got fucking shot. Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? This is a Someone good sequence though. Me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. It's her. Wolf. I love her. Super wolf. Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. She likes dogs. What is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. Perfectly from here. I can see you. I told you. I never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. Like that. I do the hand gesture every time somebody we says that in these games. Better soldiers. You're pretty good. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. When you do the fight scene here with Crying Wolf, it's a mistake the dumb tactic is to hide underneath one of the tanks and just wait until you sometimes have an angle on her and then sniper her. I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Straight to your heart. You know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, wolf, snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our No, she's not quiet. She's sniper wolf. Pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Is she Sniper Wolf? Did I say Meryl? I don't know. I can't even tell anymore. So one way to game things here, for those of you who don't know, it's notorious at this point, is... Let's do this.
Get back here! This is like the slow way to do this. I won't do it uh, entirely. Because it's kind of scummy and cheap. But it is a legitimate strategy. She's not a very good uh, sniper if she can't pay attention to the giant fuck off missiles uh, shooting at her. It really does. Oh damn it! It really does undercut the like the. Um, like the seriousness and like the imperative of the moment to be like oh sniper battle uh no actually i have these missiles and nah nah you can't touch me which i think is actually kind of funny just like you think you got an angle on me don't you wolf i've read a strategy guide huh <sighs> It's not very honorable, too. This whole scene's gonna be like, the sniper wolf death scene is actually pretty well done. Um, but that this whole scene's going to be like, oh, you're not a dog, you're a wolf, oh. And all this stuff. And it's just not gonna. Wonk. All right. Uh... Oh god. Oh god, snipe a wolf. I should take some, uh... Some goddamn pills. Oh, I can't shoot her arm there? That's bizarre. Try some chaff, yeah. Then they do, okay, hero, set me free. And it's really sad. It's like a pretty good moment. And you know she's a good person because she likes dogs. Then. Snake shows up, and if I get a chance, I'm gonna I... update our Twitter well, with some information that we're still streaming. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> she coughs. I have the black lung, Pop. I am long shot. What is my favorite Metal Gear theme Please. in each song? I do like Best is Yet to Come. Although, the, it's funny, the best use of it is in Metal Gear Solid uh, 4. Not even in this game. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like um, this. Can't Say Goodbye so to Yesterday is also a decent song. I was born on the battlefield. I'm just thinking about like the actual like songs. Um, sirens and screams. But the best opening song stuff, I don't know. I'd have to think about some of the stuff. Hunted like dogs, day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up. I will say the trailer more, for Metal Gear Solid V that uses me. Um, I stare at the song that Quiet's voice actress sings. It's like actually, pray I like that trailer a lot. It's one of my favorite video game trailers. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. 
But then, he appeared. Saladin. My hero. Saladin. You mean Big Boss? Huh. Took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. The sound mixing here is a little messed up. It's not bad, it's just the music is actually a little heavy. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the I don't know. I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. There's a fly in my face. It's terrible. <sighs> what is my favorite last words thing? I mean, it would be easy to do the whole uh, gray wolf, a uh, gray fox, gray wolf, because I'm in a wolf scene, a uh, gray fox scene. Word for wolf is Keglinek, um, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. <laughs> what if mine was stupid when it was like, it's Volgan. Who's afraid of a little thunder? It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. You're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. Vulcan Raven is next. You spared Meryl's life. She, she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A lot of conscious of wolf. <laughs> You're a hero. Please set me free. <gasps> You want to pull each other's ears? Why? Oh, I loved you. It is a really good scene, and like the and the framing and stuff is pretty good. My gun. Give it to me. Laugh and grow fat. She's part of me. Some of the uh, angles are a little strange. That was like a. It's like almost like looking at something that was taking face on like a, a flat or like a proscenium. Everyone's here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. Set me free. I'm just quoting the game at this point. Goodbye. Save her. What are you doing? The la le lu le lo. Returning it to its owner. I like Sergei Gurlukovich's last words, which are just. Why? Damn you! No, he says. Uh, he says traitorous dog. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life.
The Raven fight's pretty easy. If you just use Nikita's and like Snake. Claymore's. What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting? I like the for? camera motion here. If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. A little awkward. It's like I'll tell you and he's like Okay. okay. That's kind of cruel. I'm going to tweet out that we're heading into the last stretch. Be like a minute or two. back whoa I was checking on some of our footage not doing it as one giant video file it's kind of uh, fracturing it up a bit okay cool nice and relaxing uh, is there any cool stuff for me to pick up there's like this over here Ah! 
Look at these stupid cameras. Oh, that's like- oh, this is like the way in, isn't it? Oh well. That's so scary when that happens, because they're like... Change the disc. Um, and then it works. Okay. There we go, that should work. Mm -hmm. God, what if it doesn't? What if everything's broken? I should save my game. In China, they say, it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. You don't know that. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. What if I'm a zombie? Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. Disc swapping. Good times. Time-honored tradition of disc swapping. How long have we been playing? Five and a half hours? Nailed it! We're doing great! Um. Oh god, it's such a pain. I forgot that there's like actual sneaking here. Gosh darn it. Oh no, I have to do this and it's not easy. I hate it. They shoot out the crane? You can shoot it? I never knew that was something that was even possible in this game. That's fascinating that you can actually do that. There's a, a thing in Metal Gear Solid 2 that kind of recalls that too. It's when you're coming off of the... And it's also after a giant... Um, fight against a flying thing. It's when you're going into um, the shell to core area. You're going over the connecting bridge that's broken. You have to... Du it's not quite the same because you can move while you're ducking under stuff, but it's kind of the same in theory of like, hey, go down underneath this thing. Um, oh, fuck her. Damn it. Huh. What's that? Nothing. It's nothing. Don't you dare! Whoa, what? I didn't even know that this was a... What? Whoa, what? No, I know. I forgot about this space entirely, though. Again, it's like small stuff. I just don't remember it entirely. And then this is... I should have equipped my chaff grenades. Yeah. I knew it was in here in this room. I just forgot 
where exactly. Right? I thought it was closer to the exit. Because my memory is terrible. That sucks that we're going to have to come back here to do the memory alloy shit. It's so annoying. It's not that bad, but it's just annoying enough. Now we have the elevator sequence, which is also annoying. I do like the detail of the body armor showing, though. That's really good. The Twin Snakes version you can do... All the stuff that you can do in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, this is when he's like, uh, Naomi, I don't think her father was actually the guy. There he is. Oh! <laughs> this guy really loves his job. buttons. Fucking hell. Oh, do you think I can... Ow, you fuckers! They're not falling over the edge. There they go. Bastards. Hot Coldman. Famed CIA agent Hot Coldman. From Peace Walker. Hot Coldman has the best name of any video game character in the fucking world. God damn it. I hate gun turrets. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Ah! That's right! I'm in Vulcan Raven's territory and he does this. You son of a bitch. I forgot all about that. That's like... His trait of doing this gets carried over essentially by vamp. Things like that. God, I hate gun turrets, man. You can shoot these birds here and everybody's like, why'd you shoot those birds? And you're like, I don't know. I'm not a good person. We established this when I was talking to, uh, to some folks. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. I think she's what full of bullshit. Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary... It's all lies. FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. 
We don't lose Campbell here too, do we? That was really bothering me. No. Why would she lie about it? Yeah, it's funny that it's Miller who does it. But I get it too, he's trying to sow discord or whatever. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single... He's playing me like a damn fiddle. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960. In Chicago. He's like, I got you good, motherfucker. Which I think is hysterical. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi... No, yeah, Ed... Ed I don't J. Know. Edgar Hoover, what an asshole. Or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? Could it be? Huh? I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Moobot's a little weird. I have to fix Moobot. And then no things here, but Nikita's are actually useful here and the Claymores can be useful too. The end of the game uh, moves really fast. It just goes, like it just goes a ton. Yeah, let's grab all this stuff here. My delicious delicious rations. I'm just gonna fill up my health bar right now. They're delicious when they're cold. You just have to bite them. Break your teeth. Giant and shaman. A little awkward. To be that, like, the way that they phrase it. To be well, like, ah, oh, he's big, and he's also mystical. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen. This is one of the few times that you actually want to use the, um... Ravens aren't scavengers. The Nikita normally, without going into first person. To the natural world. And claymores and stuff, too. No longer need it. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. That's that's mean. But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were tested. The Fury is basically a hot version of this fight. The judgment is decided. Are you seeing all the re the revamped like <laughs> the the revamped ways that they do all the uh, the stuff again in the in this in the series? They do it a ton. In awe of this lad. Absolute unit. Raven has put the mark of death in awe of the size of this lab. From the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You say ranger. I read that as dud. A dud! Yeah. The best line of Metal Gear Solid 2. Duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pool. It is an he is implied to have some Japanese heritage, yeah. The they explain it later on in the series by saying that it's well the mother you want in the ears? Les Enfants Terribles. But the spirit um, is saying, Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a project. Battle. This isn't glorious. It's just is how they they get away with it later when they go. Oh shit! Actually, Ava. See if there is iron in your words. Fuck you, my dude.
Come at me! Also, the way that this um, area is set up, by the way, it's repeated partially um, in the Fat Man fight in... Metal Gear Solid 2. Ah! Fucking hell. Where's my guy? I guess I do need to go first. Uh... Yeah. It's funny, too, that you actually can beat him using his own shit. I really appreciate it. Focus on this. Might have fucked this up. Oh, oh, that's right. When you get rid of the uh, the things in this game, they blow up. So it blew up right near me. I was like, I'm just gonna let go, and it's gonna shoot past me, and it's gonna be great. I just hit myself with my own claymore. Um, uh, disaster, really. Um, absolute disaster. I, there's another up here, so he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Guys, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm not even mad. Ow, oh, my. I think something's wrong with my tooth. I think a filming I have is, is maybe loose or something. It's a problem. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Oh, my dude. It's coming over here. Ow, fucker. I was hardly like touching you. So he's just going to start blowing himself up. I love the menu sounds in these games. Oh, you fucker. 
You son of a bitch. Oh, he's gonna see it. He's gonna turn. Yep. That's annoying. You fucker! I thought I was safe. Ah! Ow! I think one of my bombs is here, though. Ah! No! 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 Oh god! It's ruined! Disaster! I was being all confident and smart. Look at me now. Which way is he going? Which way are you going? My boy. Come on, one more. Turn here, turn here. Chase me, chase me, chase me. There we go. <laughs> it's a little clumsy. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. The ravens. I will return to- I'm gonna give myself a six out of 10 on that one. Smart tactics, fumbled a bit in the middle, recovered. Not bad. Understand? Now they're going to eat every little part of me, like for real, it's fucked up. Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes... ...was fucking Decoy Octopus. The guy who's a super... What is it? Super god dang spy man. The la la lu la lo. That was not the Darpa Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. I like how he... he was a Snake's gonna be like, why the hell are you telling me this shit? He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the Chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake. No, what part of the science don't you understand? He drains his blood and replaces it with another person's blood, and it's totally fine. Slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Good camera cuts here. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. And the long shot of kind of... Souls will haunt you forever. Yeah, this whole sequence is, is really good. have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. If I was
was Snake, I would be freaked the fuck out right now. I would be like, no. Snake. He's not. Me. Master. Snake. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. I'm here to mess things up again. Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story. I wrote that line in dialogue. Kind of fishy. So I they say a thing and then they go, what? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. The Patriots. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Lalelulelo. On some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. So we basically have the end of the game to worry about now, which is like Rex and a couple other things. God, we have to do the memory card alloy though, which sucks. It's just not fun. There's tons of trap doors here though. That's what the gun turrets are here for. To fuck you up and make you fall into the pits. This is a pit. I'm going for it. There are pits around here somewhere. Look at all these fucking guns. The fuck off it, mate. So many fucking guns. Look at all these fucking gun turrets. Take back that part about my, my kids. Metal Gear Rex. So this is actually... I like this room. We would have to go down here to get some stuff. Ah! And then we go up to the... top room, and... We have to deal with, uh, the gas. Snake, it's me! What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they mentioned Gerlukovic up ahead. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but... There are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like- No, I'm an otaku. I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. 
Can I? Hell yeah, climb that ladder, motherfucker. Yeah. You do it. Snake, I want to interrupt you again. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. What did I you do while I was gone? Third security. Climbed a ladder. He's a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. That's such a weird, like, an oddly placed cutscene. Now that I think about it. They really back, uh, they, I guess it's probably a Metal Gear thing in general, but they really tack on a lot of the plot near the, uh, the end half here. And then they pad it out by, um, making you do the, the memory alloy key. I'm pretty sure the reason that they also put all that chaff there, by the way, is so that you can get back when you're doing all the, uh, the alloy runs. I'm trying to hit the circle button. God damn it, game. Stop. Thank you. Thank you, video game. Look at look at all the calls. Wow. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. That's a bingo. I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Sis. Effective. There, diagonally. The scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, the ultimate we weapon. Problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This Destroy Metal Gear. Weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They you can tell I'm just kind of coasting a little bit right now. Kind of enjoying it. I'm sorry I'm not talking as much, friends. It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but just kind of trying to chill. Find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical. I like Metal Gear Solid too. You're talking about Lolly Lou Lalo and chat. Yet. Not yet. It's good stuff. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Yeah. 
It's really good stuff. All right. I think there's a camera up here we gotta deal with. Or, like, deal with the strong word. Oh, you fucker! What? Sons of bitches. You hurt nothing. Get away from me. You son of a bitch. Where'd he go? What? It's a low blow video game, putting a random dude there. Ended the PAL codes and They're gonna mention Grulukovich Armstrong. There's still no response. Wrote a whole book on that game, and the uh, and the chapter on Armstrong is is pretty damn good, I say. Is it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. Lopnor, China. Is Lopnor, China? Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Grulukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President yes, break. the president the will break. Yes. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Might not that should be another hint too. It's like, oh, it affects older people, and you're like, how are you? Wasn't infected either. How are you doing? Okay, Ocelot. Glasses she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental, and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about It's a lot the of like, yes, of course, your Russian friend, Sergei. They, I mean, they know that Snake's listening in. They make it more explicit in the, uh, Very prudent in Twin Snakes, that they know he's listening There's in. nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can risk. Outer Heaven was not always great. It's a nation of pure of pure mercenaries who like just shoot the fuck out of people. He's the one. It's no good. Behind, and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Oh, I see you're you're responding to somebody up above. I can't see see all of chat. I was like, no. I'm worried about the men. It's not great. Yeah, I need to do the memory card stuff, which sucks. As well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We can still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead, invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. 
You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. But today, call this place Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. <laughs> I love that, like, Boss. unless you've you yeah, know something about the series, like you don't know anything about the code is in it again. Look at they're yeah. totally feeding him here, like, you're not worried about the code. The Dapa Chief Oh see, now they show him on the camera finally. They do it the earlier in the Twin Snakes, I believe. Interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? I'm so live. She's Campbell's niece. I am. Um, cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace. I don't have as much uh, words right now because I've been playing this game for like six or seven hours straight. Probably closer to six. Which is fine, but now we're getting onto all the plot stuff and I don't have as much to say. I'll just sit down and look over my footage and think about this game and put together some something a little tighter. Pal codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the president was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. Oh no, I'm gonna finish. Use the keys once. Only once, huh? Never. Yeah, you better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Snake, shut up and listen for a second, dude. That's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. We're shape way too close to stop. Alloy. Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Clever girl. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Gosh, they really do Next make you. Goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high Do a lot of, um, shit. I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard... You meant to pop in for a bit and leave? Nah, you gotta watch all of it now. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. World is riding on that key snake. Who's that? <laughs> Look at this clumsy motherfucker. They, what they're doing is they need to justify him running away from snake. folks. This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> it's bulletproof glass sneak you've got to get that key oh lord what if i was just like no ow do we have to fight our way down what Oh, that's hysterical. I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna get to my favorite, um, liquid snake line in a little bit. Which is... Uh, and I'll say it here, because we're gonna hear it again and it's gonna be great. Snake! Did you like my... sunglasses? Ah, dude, I hate this! Damn it. I guess we're just gonna run with the FAMAS. Missed me! Snake. 
snake. Did you like my sunglasses? Possibly one of the best lines in a video game. I'm not gonna punch him? No way. I don't have a chance to use a lot of this ammo again in the game. It's in the water, right? Can I get down to the water this way? Yeah, it's like down this way. Ah, no! Get away from me, you son of a bitch. Tiny little explosion at my feet. Um, is it, where is it? It's somewhere here. What? Did I go to the wrong side? It's in the water, eh? What? There's a rat that might eat it. No, I saw the bomb. Yeah, no, it's not a good bomb. It's a bad bomb. Use the mind detector? You're fucking for real? Does it truly? Just in case there's a rat there. That's so funny. I've never had trouble finding it before. Then again, I'm a bit sloppy. But I was in the- so the first time I went over there, I was in the right area, which is good. You know what I can't wait to do? Climb up and down this area, like, four times. Heather, what do you love? Ladders. <laughs> I don't know, I just get so excited. Okay, okay. Yeah, turrets are my favorite things. It's the limited camera angle that makes it tricky, right? Because you just can't see where shit is. The guard's back. Like, when the guards are at the bottom of the screen, it's just, like, not easy. I could probably just shoot him with a missile. I probably should. Oh, I can't because I'm jammed. Video games. Where's my dude at? Oh, he's coming. Uh, don't? God, it's such a pain. It's such a hassle. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst motherfucker on the planet. Oh, you're you're worst. You're I don't like you either. Sons of bitches. You heard nothing.
have to turn on my, uh... Turn on, I say. I have to use the, um... Gas mask. Unless, can I... Ah, no, what? Is it... You see the gas mask here, right? If I get spotted? I was gonna try and get through the door. I just kind of want to test it. Do they drop a ration in here to, like, give you false hope? That's hysterical. Um... Uh... Can I get out of here? Can I get out of here? Did I just fuck myself over? Oh, that's right, Otacon. <laughs> chaff. <laughs> Y'all are saying chaff. It kills me. I can't kill the cameras. Otacon? Can you... Can you help me? Uh, dude, what the fuck? I think the cameras, they- of course it's still seeing me. They can still see me. I'm gonna die. What? In the corner away from the cameras? Oh, that's hysterical. I knew that was gonna happen. I just thought, hey, I'm fine because I have the thing. So I guess what you mean is, like, if I get spotted, I would... Do something like that. Ah. I see. I understand. Well, hold on. I am so paranoid that it thinks I haven't put in the card that I'm just going to double check. Okay, we're fine. Like, I was just super afraid that the game was gonna be like, oh no, that I was gonna go get the wrong fucking key again. Like, all this sorts of not sort of nonsense was gonna happen. Um, what? Horseshit. What a whiffed shot. If I was Snake, I'd be embarrassed. Is there another? No. So now we have to do the cold one. God, what a... Yeah, this is actually, like, the worst... Uh, terrible... We mentioned that I did get a big boss rank in Metal Gear Solid 4. For as clumsy as I've been today, I'm not the worst ever. Wait, how do I? Oh, it's over there. I'm a dummy. This whole thing is hectic, yeah. I think at the, the first time around, I just have to hide. Ooh, calling my cell phone? Like, I think I hear my phone going on. Sorry, wor sorry world, don't you know I have to play Metal Gear?
no, whoa, video game, what? The bajillion gun turrets here, I think, are, like, hysterical. Everybody's like, do you think that's a little excessive? And, uh, Liquid Snake's like, no, it's perfectly fine. I asked for gun turrets, and I got them. Snake's going to shit his pants when he sees all of these. Isn't that right, Ocelot? Ocelot's just like, uh, I don't... Maybe... Is it cold yet? I know that guards show up in here, but there's not... Are they here, even here yet? How long do I have to wait for this thing to change? Ain't no one around here. And wait three minutes? Jesus Christ, are you for real? That's kind of fucked up. Three minutes? What are you guys doing? How you doing? Three whole minutes I could sing at least one and a half songs. That's many songs. That's... I, I, I admire the tenacity of it, but also old me goes, dude, uh, what if I got like a kid and I got to do shit, which I don't have a kid. Uh, they took them away from me. Okay. That's not true. Oh, there it is. It's already good. Three minutes. Bonkers. No way. That was like a minute and a half. Three minutes? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Defying gravity. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. Not really trying. It's a good song, all things considered. I was not going to not check the card. I was going to be like, they're probably wrong. I trust you, sort of. But also, I was like, that cannot be correct. And Kojima is just enough of an asshole. And, a and I want to stress, I like these games. I also think sometimes Kojima is just lucky, right? You know. What is Mubot doing? I got to fix Mubot. It's been temperamental today. For whatever reason, I have so much trouble getting up and down this. Kojima works best when he's acknowledging like the medium he's in. And then a lot of the other stuff kind of falls flat. In terms of the fact that we think he's smarter than he is. He's smart. He's not as smart as we think he is. People freaking out about Death Stranding should not be freaking about, out about Death Stranding. We know nothing about it. And everybody's just like, it looks weird. And it's like, that's not enough. And they go, well, Kojima's making it. That's not enough. What is the game? The dude knows he can just get by on his name. He's a rock star, hardly a designer. If anybody else tried that shit, we would all be like, who is this motherfucker? Right? We'd be having no part of it. And you know what? Maybe it's a really cool game. Maybe his ideas are really ima like imagine. I think Kojima like plays around with stuff in ways that like is interesting, but also like, no, dude.
A reasonable human being would see all this hype for Death Stranding and be like, this thing does not deserve an ounce of it. No Man's Sky we knew enough. You fly around, you go to planets. And furthermore, when you say, look how that turned out, here's my secret. No Man's Sky has always been good. It's always been good. It's just not been what people wanted. Right? And to an extent, yes, it was not what... It was not what Sean Mori maybe advertised. Or at least the way he handled it during some of the, uh, the press stuff. Left something to be desired. Oh no, I'm in the- I'm inside the door! Video game. Wait, how am I- where am I supposed to go? For real. This is fucking absurd. Underneath it, maybe? What? Except you can't. Otacon won't answer, right? Like this? Let's try this. Mm. No, I'm just gonna let it kill me. It's fine. <gasps> where, are we, where are you supposed to go? <laughs> I don't remember at all. Oh, it's been too long. It's okay if I die. It's not that big of a deal. I am... Um, I'm not that... Uh, I'm not so invested in having the best playthrough right now that it needs to be okay. Like, the next... I'm gonna play a second playthrough. Probably for footage purposes. And it's like... Whatever. Box would work if they didn't know I was there. He's over here, huh? Ah, oh God, come on, video game! Don't do it! No Man's Sky, I guess, has gotten, like, much better. But also, my, my secret is that, like, No Man's Sky was a game, like, if you engaged it kind of on its own terms, it was fine. I don't think it was great, but it was fine, right? Like, you could sit down, you could explore stuff, go to a couple places, listen to a podcast. Like, that is a perfect game for that. Oh, I always keep on going down this way. And I think it's fine for a game to sometimes just be that. No, we have to go... We have to go to the hot place. To the hot room. to the blast furnace, to the warm shelter. To the swelter, the swelter shelter. Can I shoot pipes in this one? Or is that in, um... I feel like that's a... a twin snake-ism, right? They put the pipes down here at the bottom and you can shoot them and it's fine. I don't think you can do that in this version, right? There's nothing to shoot. I was like, if there is, like, that would have been huge. Nobody would have complained about the sequence as much. In the room with all the cameras? Is it off to the right side, maybe? Let's find out. These pipes? Ow! You fuckers! I hate it! No, it doesn't work. If it did, people wouldn't hate this shit as much as they do. Oh, there's like way more guards than I remember. It's not hard because there's so many places to hide, but also like, yeah. I think this game still looks good, yeah. For sure. Wouldn't call you crazy for that. I think it's a, a good looking game. 
the dithering ha uh, like helps a ton. Um, and I think the camera angles compensate for a lot. To say like, hey, we have these interesting 3D spaces, and then like let's present them in ways that are in that are also like interesting and dynamic. Um, right? I think it works out pretty well. In Metal Gear Solid 2, if you crawl and you unequip and re-equip, you actually move faster. Because the first frames of your animation there are actually quicker. I can tell you guys all sorts of stuff about Metal Gear Solid 2. The Metal Gear Solid that I remember. We'll play- we'll probably play through 4? I don't remember. It's so funny, like, I got- I got a good rank in that, but I don't remember. I know! Stop telling me about Naomi! He's looking into it. Um, your monitor off. I'm playing on PS3 right now. It's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details. But I like how much he's trying to, trying to um, dig for answers of like, do you know something about Fox die? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well... Apparently, Fox Die kills its victims. When we end up playing Metal Gear Solid 2, I'll be a lot more confident. And well, I mean, I'm still confident and comfortable, right? I've not gone through this playthrough like, oh, I don't know. I've just had questions based upon, like, not playing this for a couple years. Injection. The nano machines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay. I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? Metal Gear Solid 2 is the best one. What the fuck are you talking about, boy? What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff. But we don't even have any sodium. <laughs> Anybody who says Metal Gear Solid 2 is bad is pissed just because it wasn't Metal Gear Solid 1 again. Except it was just Metal Gear Solid 1 again, and that was the point. The Fox Die vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. People played this game, thought Snake is really cool, and people were like, no, no. It's bad, and then Kojima was like, "I'm gonna write, I'm gonna make an entire game about how it's bad, and it's even worse that you people didn't." And I say you people because he very clearly doesn't like the audience in Metal Gear Solid 2. It's like you people didn't understand that it's Snake's cool, but you're not supposed to like want to be Snake. That's a big thing. Ah, fucker, again. Snake is cool, but I don't think we're ever meant to be like. I want to be just like this guy who gets jerked the fuck around. Because um, I think the answer is, uh, no, you don't want to be just like this fucker who gets jerked the fuck around. Whoa, so many elevators. It's so much worse going up. I have to sit here and wait for them. This is bonkers. Look at this. Whoa. The boss fights in Metal Gear Solid 2 are weak sauce, though. I like the Fat Man fight. They're not as good as in Metal Gear Solid 1, I'll grant that. Raiden's the best thing that happened to the series. I present to you my case for that. Uh, also, the, the follow-up case for that is just uh, Metal Gear Rising. The secret best one. The same way that... Um, 
what the fuck else is going on. The same way that um, Lightning Returns is actually secretly one of the best Final Fantasy games. So I just gotta chill here for forever. Oh god, the controls here are scary. I want this ration. <laughs> well, I got it. <laughs> Whoever wrote that headline should be fired. Yeah, who was she? <laughs> I thought I could get around the corner here. <laughs> and actually, all I did was uh, eat shit. I want to like, is that just entirely bait? Can I get it? Like, what if I crawl? What is the point of this item? What? <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's fucking rad. That's so good. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Let's go in like the furnace room and get like super, super warm. That's awesome. <laughs> That's hysterical. Wow. I love that. That's really good. That's super wild. That's so cool. So I don't think I can grab the ledge, like I can't grab ledges in this game. So I think what I need to do is I think I drop down maybe or something? I don't know. Car doesn't need to be on the screen. Cause it wasn't when we did it in the cold storage. I mean, maybe it speeds it up. If I, you want me to do this? <clears throat> do I have... I just get out of here. I used to think that you had to go up on the catwalk again when I was a kid. I was like, oh fuck, I have to go back on this thing near like the thing. Which it turns, I guess it turns out, uh, no you don't. Which is good. We are almost ready to do... Some gosh darn liquid snake uh, punching. We're gonna punch him so hard, guys. It's a good game. We played the original Metal Gear, and unfortunately I lost the video, um, which is a bummer. Um, and we'll end up- oh, f god, I hate you, I hate you! Stop it! Why are you so mean? You're so mean, camera. Um, and we'll play Metal Gear Solid 2, and then... All sorts of stuff. We'll go back and play Metal Gear 2, a game which also I haven't played for like even longer. I think it's been like four or five years, probably closer to five, um, which is wild, like wiggity wiggity bonkers, like super wild. Um, my plan was this year to do a playthrough of the entire series and a big feature on the website, but there were some complications that made that a little bit improbable. And now I'm finally getting back to playing through stuff again. And I just wanted to play this. I was like, oh, I haven't played this for a while. And I don't remember it as well. 
Even like I've played this game plenty, and I just don't remember stuff. It's Naomi. Naomi, what the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Think about the future, Naomi. Who I am now? Who <sighs> should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. They really do give a lot of, uh, Your big plot dump here, huh? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. You protected me. We're getting close to the end, connection. though. It's exciting. The only connection I have to my past. My brother, who you killed? And he brought you back to America. Big yeah. Boss did. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and- No, I like PS2 out. games a little bit better than PS1 games. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and if I you're asking about stuff. that I would. So, were your prayers answered? I think that they get a little bit more confident. Yes. And I like the experiments of, like, N64 and PS1, but I like... Is that all you cared about? Yes. I like when it gets honed right. into a little bit more shape. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Also, PlayStation 2 has, like, <laughs> Devil May Cry and shit. Fox die is a type of Some really good stuff. Targets and kills only specific people. It triggers apoptosis in the cells. In the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine. A oh gosh, somebody mentioned Dragon Quarter. The TNF Epsilon really good game. The bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? Dragon Quarter's rad. Program that thing to kill me too. 
right? Do I still have time? Naomi. Is this science real? No. For wanting me dead, not really. But I can't go yet. No. I still have a job to do. Jack too. Listen, Snake. Renegade. I like Jack too. I'm not the one who made the I'm wrong. Use Fox die. But I like it. You weren't. No. You were injected with Fox dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No. Saying FF7 is better than FF10 is like saying... I don't know, the Godfather is better than like Casino or something. They're both fine. I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> But one is clearly like the really better one. Snake. FF8 I don't is underrated. Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Eight does some very good character stuff. And I think people wanted something more like swashbuckling, which I guess is what nine ended up being. But also, no, it's like, he's pretty damn good. Um, if you look at it as a character piece more than, say... <coughs> Excuse me. As like some sort of big, um, grand narrative. I like 9 a lot. Um, and then 6 is fantastic. I mean, they're, I like a lot of them. They're all pretty damn good. Damn it, I want you. Thank you. No. No, you don't shoot at me. I think I think FF eight understands how fucked up it like like the core part of its fiction is like the, like the core conceit of like gardens like there's a reason squall's so fucked up and like there's like a ton of reasons but that's one of them of like hey you're gonna be in garden and you're like man like all these kids are like it's not great and they start just like getting out there and it's like even worse who would have thought? I've liked almost every Final Fantasy since 7, truth be told. I like, except for 13, um, but I like 13 too, and I, I really like Lightning Returns. Lightning Returns is actually surprisingly smart. I encourage people to revisit those two games and maybe just like get up to date with 13. Lightning Returns is, like, super good. Um, and then, I don't know, 12? I think 12 is better now that you can play the Zodiac version. Um, is my dude gonna show up here? FF11! My friend played FF11. Um, at the time, I had never seen anything like that. FF12 gets the short end of a stick sometimes too because I think a lot of its character work is really understated. Everybody's like, Vaughn's not important. And I'm like, Vaughn's super important to that game. Um, he's just not, it's not really his story, right? But he's still like, important. He's like, not a, 
He's not just a viewpoint character. Like, without him, Ash doesn't make the decisions that Ash does. And that's important. 13 deserves some of the hate. It's a... Uh... Oh, boy, it is hard. it's hard to get through. Confirmed. It's really hard. Thirteen two is hard to get through in certain ways too, but you have a, the, the combat is like much better. It's much smoother. Why? Lightning returns again though. Actually, legit good stuff. It's Majora's Mask with with dress spheres, and if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. Thank you, Snake. I love this. The detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able- Oh god, my favorite line is coming up. I cannot wait. Man to psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. We're so close to being done. We weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little, a little worried. worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, I'll Snake. I, I love the fact that he has to disguise himself on radar on Kodak, even though it's like it's like clearly they see Kodak, but Kodak is mostly supposed to be just like radio in your ear. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't The only one who doesn't know. Oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside. I was checking a uh So who is it? A message for a second. You've been talking Me, dear brother. Me, dear brother. Fucking so good. Liquid. How the You've served your purpose. You may die now. And then this is where we call Otacon. Which is something the game isn't really great at communicating. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it. You may die. Now. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit. <laughs> no, I hit the wrong button. I like how Snake's like, hurry up! It's hysterical. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. I love that moment right there when they do the he's around the corner thing. 
So now we're getting into like the real end game, end game stuff. We're gonna get like a big cutscene about like Les Enfants Terribles. The Terrible Children. I like how you can do this too. I'm gonna save the uh, the ammo. Try and shoot Grey Fox. No good. I can't do it. I love this. Did you like my sunglasses? Best moment in the goddamn game. You'd point a weapon at your own brother. Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily, and you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked. Why would you? Warriors pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. That's bait. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? Don't be a jerk. Only needed for you to come into You're not banned or anything, but don't say like what killed the stupid shit. And decoy octopus. You don't mean. That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fo Fox die. I love the way that they... It can't be. Have him say that. Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. Well, it depends on the troll. No it depends on like what the troll is saying. Like sometimes I'll uh, time out, folks. But if somebody's being like really terrible, like, well, of course that's bannable. But I mean, like if somebody's also just like not taking the hint. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine. White House demands. White House demands. Love They're the way he says that too. Must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Weird fade there. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. All the genes talk, and you're just like, I think later on they do a justification of like, he knows nothing about. The old man's dominant genes. He knows nothing about this stuff. Flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the great. So, so hysterical. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to Except he's not. Can you understand what it's like? Why does Liquid Snake sound English? Because he's Liquid Snake. And he talks like this. Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior. And now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. That's a good line read right there. Father, with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that Father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Oh, uh, there's so much to get through through this part of the game. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an Got to shoot the ray dome. Your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. 
I think maybe I do have to, or maybe they tell me right away, right? For a minute I was like, do they not tell me about the Raydome? Like, I don't know. This isn't too hard, but you can get hit pretty hard. Uh, just, I don't know, guns are pretty punchy in this game, which is good. It's a little crotch laser. Can I target it without knowing? No. Good camera angle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh damn it. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah. That thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electric. I was like, I, I wondered if it would let me shoot the radome without calling. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force oh, the target hadn't loaded yet? Interesting. Right. If you can For a minute, I thought it was like, oh, it won't let you do that because you won't. The computer control system. Like, how would you know? Designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Oh, whoa, I thought, like, I could hide there and it'd be okay. Turns out, no, it's not okay. Ow! You sons of bitches. Oh, I keep on trying to do a dodge roll, is what I'm trying to do. So stupid. Ah! I keep on crawling by accident. Oh my god, video game, stop it. Ow! I forgot how clumsy this game can be. I keep on hitting X while running. Trying to get away from shit. mind it, but I'm also... I might as well just let it hit me. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of just like... And I have to run to the side to grab some chaff grenades and things like that, which is fine. I think there are some off to the side. There better be. Oh, it really does let you do it right away. That's awesome. That's actually really good. For some reason, I thought it wouldn't. Oh no, I threw two. That's annoying. I'm at a bad angle. Crap.
Ow. I feel like I keep on forgetting to use uh, the armor. Really? I can't do that little trick? That's stupid. Oh well. I'm surprised. I thought maybe you could flatten against that and you could use that as a cover. But instead, I guess you just gotta... That hurts so much. It's actually kind of hard to do some shoot, uh, certain types of shooting in this. Like, way harder than I remember. That might get me. That's okay. We're kind of uh, working our way through it. That might kill me. Hard to say. Pop out, we're gonna see Gray Fox, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I mean, if I get killed by, like, one stray shot here, I'm going to be kind of dicked over. Right? So I need to find a ration. There's one in the back end of the room. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free It's like, who knows? Maybe I Fox. eat shit this time around. It's okay. I've kind of approached this pretty low-key. Naomi, you're the only one who can stop her. I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I Plot twist. And couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she. I stream three three times a week. I just took a break because of E3 and like some stuff before that. For those of you who did not read the news recently, our company had some interesting things going on. I got happy. Which made it hard to uh, justify streaming. I looked at her. I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are. We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Fox! Nailed here. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of fox hounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is and Then he's like, shoot me. Do that. What's interesting about Kotaku? I mean, we write plenty of website uh, stuff. We do videos, we do analysis, we do reviews. What do you mean what's interesting? What's not interesting? Mike will be back soon enough, I think. He's working. He's working on getting back. 
getting up and about. But can you really shoot? You'll kill him too. Then it's no good. I can't do it. No, it's no good. Run, I can't do it. I can finally die after Zanzibar. It's no good. Can't do it. No good. I can't do it. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. No, I can't do it. I can just ruin the cutscene. I need the other ration. Mike, um, Mike had uh, an aortic dissection. I forget. It's something where a blood vessel tears and blood starts pumping into the wrong part of the heart. Um, it, it wasn't good. So he's recovering from that. He was is in the hospital still. I always fought for what I believed in. Snake. Farewell. He's recovering. It's gonna be a while. Good line, Reed. Way to go, Dave Hader. Foolish man. He caught to death. I pray to ever get the line. Found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die. I, I might die here. That would suck. Yeah. I can't. I was like, I need to go get health. Um, and uh, maybe I'll die here. It's okay. Snake. What Snake. It doesn't checkpoint though, you said, which is kind of a bummer. That's fine. I can like I can live with this. Like it doesn't bother me too much. Um, but it does mean I need to get like over here. So y'all get to enjoy Gray Fox getting smushed again. Ah, God damn it. Dude, turn, I can't hit you. Shit. For fucking real? That went down, and then there was also uh, some other stuff with our company. Yeah, let's grab all the items while we can, then. Nice. There we go. Oh, it didn't hit. There we go. Ah, God. The missiles are annoying. I feel like the second phase isn't as fucking garbage, though, as this first phase. Maybe I'm wrong. But the target's bigger, certainly, and that helps. I'm trying to run forward, and that third one hit me, though. It's kind of fucking annoying. <laughs> now I'm just running into missiles. Oh, 
I think we're doing okay here, though. That one might hit me. Yeah. That one turned, like, really tightly. I was kind of surprised how quickly it turned. I fucked that up. I keep on trying to dodge roll. That's so silly. I keep trying to dodge roll. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. It's reflex. I feel like if it's the Ray fight, like I'm doing stuff with Raiden, I'm like. From the battle, neither Julie alive nor Julie dead. I'm rolling and diving. In a world of light, but soon, soon it will finally. God, what if I fuck up here? Ow, fucker. Oh, dude, it's happening, it's happening. What? Video game, no. Don't fucking do this to me. laser. I'm gonna die, dude. This sucks. I can't see shit. Dude, what the fuck? I gotta get- I can't move. I couldn't move. That's annoying. I get it. It's like, it's really the last boss fight of the game. Um, in the sense that like, the last boss fight isn't say um the liquid snake fight isn't that hard yeah dude i don't care much for these missiles i uh, don't ah god the laser that's right it's kind of Absurdly annoying. Just kind of running around. Just gotta be faster than the uh, fucking missiles, huh? Hmm. Can I run under the legs? I'm supremely curious to know. Probably not, huh? That laser seems uh, pretty quick. Maybe I can. Maybe part of the secret is just like, get close to this noodle head. Dude, stay put. Oh dude, nope, I'm too close. dodging those missiles, certainly. Yeah, see? That's a little bit better. Yeah, like that. Like that should hit? Yeah. Okay. Ow. So that's better. Now! It's not brilliant. In front of you, it's better. I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I will See, you just gotta from the mess around with it a bit. Neither Julie alive, nor Julie dead. So like I said, it doesn't matter if I die, it's okay. Shadow in the world. When I die, I do lose viewers though. Soon, Heartbreaking. Soon it will finally Mm-hmm. It starts you in, like, a crappy spot, though. Oh, shit. By reflex, I was shooting at... Oh, 
Don't do this to me, game. Ah, fucker! Don't! Oh, I'm fucking it up! I'm fucking it up! Motherfucking goddamn it. can't move properly. It feels weird. Oh, dude, that sucks. I want that ration. Oh, dude, whoa. Ah, oh, the laser, dude. Ow, fucking for real? Dude, that bothers me, actually, the way that it can just, like, chain you there. I'm having so much trouble attacking. <laughs> they restock, which is good. I need to go get it. Dude, fuck this. Fuck this. My missiles just keep on missing, and it fucking sucks. Chaff won't matter because he's using the radome, right? No way. Running underneath you. I need weapons. I need... Ah! Dude, that sucks. That fucking blows. That makes me so mad. I'm fucked. This is horseshit. I'm just gonna let it kill me. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Snake. Snake. That was like the first time I actually got like actively annoyed. Like, he's just moving a lot after I fire my missiles, and it blows. It sucks. It, uh, it's not great. Um, free shot here, though. Will Stungies do it? Everybody in chat was like, I think it's this, I think it's this. So if you guys know for sure, that'd be good. Oh, God, the angle is shit. That might hit it, though. Like, I'm getting way better at first phase. Like, this is mostly working. I'm gonna eat some damage there for sure. And he's gonna stand up and move. And that's a shot. Yeah. This makes a lot of sense. Like, that should be it? No. One more. That's frustrating. Like, I gotta know, this phase is, like, pretty bog standard. Two hours on this boss fight? Really? No! 
front of you, I can finally mm. die. I mean, I've been running towards the missiles, and sometimes it works, and sometimes they actually, like, uh, beam me right in the battle. dome. Neither truly alive, nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. Yeah, see, like, that, that phase makes a ton of sense to me. This one is, like, the, the target moves around way more than you would think. And you think it's a bigger target than it is. So I guess we can. He always opens with that, which kind of gives me a, a little bit of a... Dude, what? Fucking for real? That's so bizarre. want my... I threw the flash. Didn't quite work. What's he gonna fire? This? God, I hate that! I hate the fact that he stands and he fucks with me. It's absolutely 100% messing with my shit. See that right there? It's so annoying. So annoying. I actually, like, it makes me kind of mad. I need this. I need missiles. Yeah, I don't know. The way that he does this is, like... super bizarre to me. Like, I think I'm fine this time around, but also it's, like, kind of annoying. Yeah, if I get too far, I want to go get the other ration, but it's... I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe chaff works against these missiles here. Let's find out. I can't fire the fucking missile launcher at all right now. It's so silly. These are still gonna hit. Yeah, like, I don't know, this is, like, super screwy to me. I ran into them. Dude, that sucks. He's gonna fire. See, like, those are close. Those are too close. That should hit. He's gonna do the laser? He is. So one more shot. Oh, dude. Drop down. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that was so absurd. <laughs> I'll crush you into dust. The laser messed with me. It's been a while since I've done this. I am going to grab water. Oh, whoa, there's the controller. Did you hear that shit? Whoa! I put it on my desk. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute.
confusion. A snake? Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We there we go. I like the lighting in this scene. Things. I don't know why I had so much trouble with uh, Rex. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world. It's kind of a uh, what it used to be. We're losing our place. Pain in the ass. No longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I. You like all the killing. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always So we'll finish by like... But the problem is... 8.39. Father knew what type of... A maybe not nine. I mean, who knows? Is that the only reason? Maybe, maybe I die here a couple times. It's been a while. Isn't it reason enough? Maybe I'll probably die at least once in the chase I sequence. that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to when your superiors betray you? Superiors betray you. Why I remember the voice crack there. <clears throat> well, I hope my knowledge of the script you belies a a deeper That's why. relationship why? with the game that is not being reflected in my gameplay right now. Most of my comrades. That was. <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and Super baby. Tuplets. Method. Tuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished. It's not how it works. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything I love from it. me before I was even born. But. You and I aren't his only children. What? I thought I was gonna have like all these better critical thoughts right now, and I'm just like, oh, it's been a while since I played this game, and I'm just like sitting and enjoying it, right? They're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. 
The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? Genome soldiers, huh? They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Look at what is a super huge goober. But he's also like... I don't know, I think he's a decent villain, all things considered. Maybe not as menacing as you'd like, but he's he's uh, watchable. A lot of that's Cam Clark. With the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They, too, are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Nope. Success? Don't be a fool. No. They're a They're failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Nani? Ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. Selfish gene. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We Quoting don't know Dawkins. What type of disease will occur? That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't make- I love how they capitalize nature in this game. It's a small thing. Why? I notice. It increases the and I like it. Their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response- I need to look over this script. Selection. It's called- I mean, the themes are pretty explicit. Your but genes, also, like, genes are ordering you to save the genome soul. Contrasting what he says compared to some other stuff would actually be fertile ground for some poking and prodding. For the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. To do that, first, I will kill you. Snake's like, huh? This is when he shows Meryl. Look behind you! Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling. We don't we do know some of the localized uh, people who localized um in love Metal Gear Solid 2. Doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. So, what I'm linking here is an interview with one of the localizers who did, um... No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. Wait, this is way back machine, or it should be way back machine? If you want the details, well, they didn't just feed you a garbage link. No, I shouldn't have. So this is um, somebody named Agnes uh, Can you hear Kaku. Yes, I'm listening. And she what is trying to do? Colonel, um, answer me. did localization on active control of this Metal Gear Solid 2. And actually, her relationship with that game is like way more complicated than people realize. What? Um, Not only that. B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113... I actually know a couple of uh, localized localizers, too, who worked on the game. Or at least I know some people who did, like, some flat-out translation. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox die. 
now that there's no more danger so that's an interesting link for people who are He's going want to, to know a little bit more about that to cover up the truth of what really happened here He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry. One of the sections on there is a very important section called Kojima is not a writer. Um, I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But Colonel, if you do that, it's okay, Snake. The truth is, it's an interesting uh, interview, though. The subject of an undercover investigation. Have I done a rising stream? No, I've not done a rising stream. It's very tempting. It's been a while since I've played that game too, so I'm probably really rusty too. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure Jim Houseman just like gets arrested or something within the lore. Colonel. Like he's the fall guy for all this shit. Cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved. Of Suddenly, Houseman Secretary of Defense is standing beside you. He's been placed under His name's Jim Houseman. Top secret information. And, for the and he's here. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. That's a, a hysterical line. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. Bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering Is everyone it? here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, it's like smart. Donald it's like not that much. It's already dead. So, you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all? Solidus, no scandals at all. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving- Ocelot took it. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. I think I'll actually buy Metal Gear Rising Farewell. on the PC, now that I have a good PC and I don't have to just play it on the console. There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. We don't get a moment like this in um satisfy me. Metal Gear Solid 5. But we get to me what is right. This and then Solidus and then the boss and then Ocelot. So it keeps to the form for at least four games. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Some weird transitions there. This is an interesting decision. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. Yeah, it would be it would probably have been enough to fall. So like just fight. Point, it will kill even you. Have at you, snake. Have at you, he says. Oh, fucking for real. <laughs> Video game. 
What's wrong, snake? I don't remember the mechanics of this fight at all. I mean, there's not really many. You just kind of punch. Nice shot! Ow. Stop hitting me, Charlie! Snake. He bit me! The requirements for saving Meryl are just don't give up during the torture sequence, which isn't that hard. It's don't give up in the torture sequence and then you're fine. Oh, what the shit? I forgot about that nonsense. Yo, are you gonna get me here? Oh, that would have killed me. Yeah, don't you dare. Don't you dare, asshole. Oh, funny clipping there, huh? That might get me. Yeah. I missed up my punches. I'm not out of time. I'm just dead. I can't believe he actually got me there. That's fine. It's not a big deal. It's a little clumsy. And by that, I mean absurdly, stupidly clumsy. Also, you get more time if you don't uh, sit and watch the cutscene. Because he's not wasting all your time by being like, Hoo. Dude, it sucks. It's actually really hard to guide where you're punching. It's not that hard. It's like not that hard of a fight in general, but like... He can sneak up on you. Oh, that's so funny. Look at that. He has no plan for getting out of here. He's just like, we're going to fist fight, Snake, and then maybe there's a bomb. I don't know. I'm recessive. Which I think is hysterical. Ow, dude. Oh, no. No, help me up. Can I get up? <laughs> Thank you, video game. Oh, that's gonna hit. Why am I having so much trouble chasing him right now? Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Oh no, ow. What if he gets me again with a sudden thing? I'd be so mad. I'd be so annoyed. Do your stupid thing. Come on, dipshit. Never mind, we'll just do that. What? How are you not down? There you are. I looked at I looked at chat, I was like, I'm fine. He's still kicking around, I guess. And then again, he's gonna come back like nine times. Meryl. Meryl. Snake, is that you? Snake, oh, you're alive! Thank God! Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, it must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. He ate a ration when he was on the floor. Torture? You think so? Things even worse than that. 
I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. <laughs> we actually only have like 15 seconds. I was fighting a fight and there's a bomb. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. For real, what happens to the bomb? But I was scared. Did I miss something? Because it goes off when she explodes, but why was there a timer? <laughs> it explodes when she dies, he said. But there's a timer and now there's not? And now she's fine? Or I don't know. Pain and shame. I don't question it. I'm sure of a single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake's like, uh, Meryl. Snake. We have to, uh. I wanted. Something's bad. We got, there's a bomb. Meryl. Don't think about it. I'm not thinking about it. Well, that's true. I am thinking about it, but I'm not really thinking about it. It's a big bomb. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. I like how he derives his worth again by saving Meryl, though, because otherwise at the end of the game, he's like, I, got I fucked up, I'm a loser. And you're like, man, that's kind of weird that that's like how you phrase it, video game. I guess we're Not terrible, but just, you know. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. You know. Snake. Snake's like. Complete person. I don't know. A lot of my life has been about loss. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Well, that sounds nice. Oh. I believe in you. Otacon. Thanks, Snake. Little dude. Little buddy. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? I have played Where's Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. He's How does she know to call him Otacon? Fighting right now. Is that a thing he just told everybody to call him? To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Suddenly, the whole game makes no sense. Ghost Babble is actually like, really good for a, for a, um Meryl. for a Game Boy game. Snake. No. Gotta get out of here. There are bombs. It started. Well, it's weird. Like, so Kodak is weird because, like, you can have entire conversations on Kodak only, apparently, which is something that's established in Metal Gear Solid 2. Let's get out of because they're like, we don't want eavesdroppers hearing us. Let's talk on Kodak. Like when you when you find Ames or other people. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Let me put on my shirt when everything's blowing up. Where did you get that? Mm, looking good, Snake. Yeah, Kodak is really weird. They never really have clear rules for how it works, and except for like how they want it to work at any given time. What? Give me this ration. Thank you, game. that I got it snake jump in 
I, I really don't remember these dudes just being here. Oh, fucking. And then I shoot them down. Fire that machine gun with your weapon button. Shoot him, snake. Oh, moving this thing is weird. I forgot how weird it is to move this thing. I completely forgot. How'd you get through here? I was like, I forgot I have to shoot that. I like some of the camera stuff that happens in this tunnel. The tunnel is actually, I think Boundary Break did something on this where the tunnel's like an actual length tunnel. I might be wrong. I'm gonna eat shit here. The escape sequence is always interesting. Like, this is like, it's super clumsy. You did it, Snake! Thanks! I know, I'm pretty great. I have zero health. <laughs> and Liquid Snake's gonna show up in a second, it's gonna blow. Can you first person this? Snake! I'm. It's rip not over yet! Recall that. Maybe. Oh, that's weird. Did he hit me? Yo, fuck you, dude. Bizarre sequence. Ow. Fuck you, ow. Pretty sure I know this is the place to shoot him, though. Oh no, he, he hit me there. He might kill me. Yeah. My health was a little low. Out of here. <laughs> so funny when he shows up. He's like, it's not over yet. And you think you get him again, and then Fox Eye. Which is always good. Hurry! Can I not just I'll drive. hide? Damn, a surveillance camera. <gasps> Can I not just, uh... Damn, no keys. Ow! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Because I want to get in here if I can. I got it, Snake! Jump in! Yeah. Fire that machine gun with your weapon button! Shoot him! Oh, you're behind me! You bastard! Oh no! Him being behind me has, like, fucked up everything. Jerk. Snake, hold on. Cool. It's funny, I'm actually controlling the view camera and the gun with my index finger and my um my ring finger. 
It's actually much cleaner. Snake. Okay, Snake, let's go. Than using your thumb and your um and crooking your index finger. Which I think is what most people would probably do. We're not out of the but now here I can just have my stuff like next to each other and it's fine. We'll never make it. Snake, clear a path. Yeah, I should use my chaffs. My favorite Metal Gear Solid is Metal Gear Solid 2. Very, very good game. It's not over yet. Liquid. So now we just kind of play this nonsense again. Oh, he's gonna shoot me. Oh, I got him. Good. I have no patience. Yeah, I should use all my chaffs. All those chaffs I have. It's so- I don't know how he recovered and shot me there. Yeah, that's so funny. He actually can knock me there and fire before I can actually recover. Or basically before I can recover, because he does it right there. It's a bit questionable. This should be exactly where to shoot him. Yeah, no, I'm just holding this down, which is uh, bonkers. Oh, he keeps on tilting a little further to the side there. Let me hit you, dude! What the fuck? Ow! Stop it. <laughs> Alright, so we... Okay, game over. We win. Yeah, I needed chaff and pentazamine and other things. Hey, we did it. End of the game. Get to listen to a good ending theme. I don't have as many thoughts right now as I thought I did, but I think it's also because I've been basically playing a game for eight and a half hours. So, understandably, Girl. I'm a little tired. Are you okay? And I need a. I'm gonna. Yeah, just a little shook up. Ease up soon. Girl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't, I can't do it. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! Snake! good moment. Games Done Quick does start up soon, which should be really good. I, um, I haven't done as much speedrunning coverage, but I also was, I don't know, distracted and I didn't, it didn't feel like there was as much stuff going on, so maybe there was. Um, if he's dead, that means... Who knows? Don't say it, Snake. But I live on in this arm. What happened to the air raid? Brother! No stealth bombers in sight. But before I go, I have a family matter to settle snake. with all of you. Can you hear me? There's room for only one snake and okay. one big boss. Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? 
What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Thanks, Snake. You can rest easy. You're my boy. Carol's fine. You're my boy, Snake. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting I'll end up streaming Metal Gear Solid 2. And that one I'll feel more confident on. I'll play that on like hard mode and just kind of really get into it. I've, it's been a while since I played this one. I'm a little clumsy, Are you gonna be okay? as you can tell. Um, I might, yeah, I'll stream Metal Gear 2 as well once I get back into it. I want to, I'll probably have to replay, honestly, Metal Gear if I want to write a big piece on it, and I do. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy. How does how long does a Metal Gear Solid what? 2 run? I have one on my um Meryl will be fine. She wasn't on my channel, on my personal channel and it killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face. How long is that one? It's like 5 hours. It's shorter than this. Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Yeah, what I have, the last one I did was about 5 hours 43 minutes and something seconds. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. I think I probably skipped some cutscenes there. Me to tell you to forget about him. And to I know that game a lot better. Life. I have trouble with the Ray fight. Frankie's is my big chokehold, which makes sense I guess yeah. cuz I had trouble with he the Rex fight here. He'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. Um Metal Gear Solid 3 will be a little trickier. Been a while since I've played that one. Maybe. Um, that one will be longer too. That's a much longer game. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? Yeah, now we get to watch the ending. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. She's like being really coy yeah, about it, about like, hmm. Wins mine up. <laughs> it's up to you how you use the time left. He's like, no, you don't understand. I'm asking you, when do I live, Snake? You have the. It's all I can say. To you, you gave me a virus. I, I, if I was him, I would have been like, so you, you really, are you bullshitting me? Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. That's not what fate means. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA, because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. <sighs> yeah, this was an interesting playthrough. A little clumsier than I kind of wanted it to be. Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough will be better. 
The most we can say about DNA. I might. So here's what I might do. And it'll sound funny. What I might do is I'm gonna order food. Cause I'm too hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Like if you guys are like Heather, what have you had for breakfast? The answer is I haven't eaten a goddamn thing. I've had water. That's it. Snake. So I should probably Whether eat food. Not, but if I download Metal Gear Rising, I might stream it casually, sort of getting reacquainted with it after a while um, on my own personal channel. You think, Snake? So if you check out on Twitter I'm going to choose life um, later, you might see me say like, hey, I'm just going to mess around with Metal Gear Rising. From here on, um, and that could be good. I'm going to just live. Oh, it's okay. Like, I don't... I don't really eat food. I do, but I also don't. Um, Genes exist to pass down our hopes and I have like breakfast at, during the week. I'll have like bagels and like our work does quiche and some other things, which is fantastic. The and then I'll get through the week using like, life works. it's a lot of sushi because there's a market near us. Teaching each other. So it's a lot of like sushi and onigiri and like rice and things like That's that. It's really good. Change the world. Um, I cook when I get home often for dinner, so I know you guys are like, don't. It's like, I cook chicken, I cook pasta. I, uh, a lot of them are binging with Babish recipes, which every time I mention him, I have to say, he follows me on Twitter. Very excited about that. And, um, so I'm learning how to cook more food, look, which is good. I found this. A bandana. Let's maybe, look, maybe I can use it as second playthrough. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission, or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about. In Infinite life. ammo. It's a good moment in Metal Gear Solid 2. That's how everyone is. Which tells you felt truly exactly what that game is doing. Face. Um, like the lines are thin, and I like it. Reminder of how to live. Yeah, that's a good line. Reminder how to live with infinite ammo. What do your genes? Yeah, you guys are all saying it. I'm gonna live, but I'm also gonna fire my gun forever. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Like me? Maybe that's the real way to live. Snake? What do you mean? He just tapes his finger down over the trigger, David, shooting his gun constantly. He tells her in this ending too. So where to, Dave? I didn't remember that. I thought it was only an Otacon ending thing. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. You can watch the entire playthrough though, because it'll save right away after we're done uh, with I the stream. We'll find it. What are those? What are those? <laughs> That's so sad. I'm an asshole. The illusions. The caribou is a symbol of life. Have you ever heard a moose friggin or whatever make its noise? It's loud, man. Spring brings new life to everything. I used to go hiking a ton because I lived in the middle of nowhere. I've lived here a long time. I lived in like a forest, <laughs> basically. And moose make funny fucking noises. See, the caribou, most of all, you. You. I think I'm gonna like this new life. I'm gonna like it so much that we're going to break up in between this game and the sequel. Moose are messed up, man. I love them. They're also messed up. Don't go near them. They will, uh... They will, uh, fuck your shit up. Now we get a good credit sequence. You could hit a moose with like a plane and I'm pretty sure the moose would still win. Bare minimum, the moose might die, but he's gonna take you with you. Yeah, with him, you know? Hell yeah, we did it. Look at all the fake names. I love it. Hysterical.
Yoji Shinkawa. Everybody for forgets uh, Tomokazu uh, Fumashima. But they're also a writer. I say Fumu? It's Fukushima. He was also a writer on... Um, on a lot of things. He was on Snake Eater. He was on Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm pretty sure he wrote all of In the Darkness and Shadow Moses, if I'm remembering correctly. People forget about all the other writers in um, these things. One of them, again, Etsu Tamari, made Metal Gear Rising and then he got to work on Metal Gear. Well, he worked on Metal Gear Solid 5 and a couple other things, but then he did Metal Gear Rising, which is. Molto bene. For the record, that's my personal channel, and I will probably be messing around in Metal Gear Rising tonight. Who knows, maybe, maybe not. some food. We will relax. Maybe I'll stream. Maybe I won't. Check my Twitter. Right now I'm just... trying to... stretch. I'm stretching my legs. This ends up being a... Uh, Pretty good thing. Oh, I'm not leaving yet. We gotta watch to the end of the credits because we need to hear uh, Ocelot talk to you. Mr. President. It's very important. Were some of you people here from the start? Did anybody make it all the way with me? Sound off in the chat. Did I do okay? I think I did okay. Some people made it. Look at that. Fantastic. Good job, friends. I don't know why I did this. I kind of wanted to... I don't know. I wanted to do it. It's been so long since I uh, really sat down and did something like this. The longest stream I ever did was about 12 hours of Fallout 4, which, by the way, is not really that good of a game. Um, but it is eminently playable. Those are two different things. A thing can be playable and not necessarily good. Um... It's, um, Fallout 4, boy. Talk about a game with problems. Yes. Well, 20th anniversary, which is why. So I think what I want to do, I think I've said it a couple times through this now. So I want to sit down and I want to do a cleaner playthrough now that I've had uh, contact with the game again. Put that together and do a, a, a cut together playthrough that um, kind of reflects the type of analysis that I would like to do. Um, in fact, one thing that I will link in here, really useful, is I've been sharing some of James's work today. Um, one thing that James has done 
is so he is the he is the person who wrote about Metal Gear Solid uh, too. He did a, he uh, around the same time that I was starting video content. He did a video of his big boss playthrough of Metal Gear Solid Two with really good uh, commentary. It's about two hours long. It's fantastic. I want to do something like that, maybe a little shorter, so I won't have all the cutscenes in there, but I'll like highlight key cutscenes or things like that. And then live. Um, but I would have to sit down and write a script. I think is what I would have to do. Metal Gear Solid. Yes. No, the the inferior one. Solidus. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Mr. President. Goodbye, Mr. President. <gasps> dun dun dun. We're putting together a program. What have you heard about the Avengers Initiative? All right, so that's it. We did it. Holy shit. My score is going to be garbage. Um, check it out. So about an eight hour, oh, eight and a half hours. So that's kind of what I thought would be the case. Uh, I was going to say like a seven to eight hour playthrough, which is fine. Um, the Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough, which maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do that really soon. Um, anywhere from four to six hours. Uh Ray will slow me down, and actually the bomb disposal the bomb disposal will slow me down on, um, what is it, E strut or F strut, where you have to do it in the packing room, which is just like a pain. Those will be my biggest hurdles. We'll play that one on hard, because I'm much more confident with that game. Uh, but there we go, we did it. I'm going to save my data. And I'm going to relax. I'm going to... Chill, yeah, E. F is the hell of pet. No, E is the. I forget. I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. My brain is mush. But yeah, that one's tricky. Um, I always forget where that one is. Sometimes it's on a box. I think on hard, hard and above, it's on a box. So there you go. So there we go. We made it through Metal Gear uh, Solid. So I'm gonna have some food. Uh, I might do some stuff with Metal Gear Rising on my personal channel today. We'll see. I need food. I love you all. I am going to switch my monitor so I can see my uh, my recording software. And yeah, this is great. I love the opening Konami logo thing there. Um, you don't really get that anymore. Anyway, I'm going to go. See you around, guys.